Can we do hello, 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 hello? Well? I'm down. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. We're here, the gamers. It's Sunday. We're playing D and D. Hello. We're D and D. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to Dungeon Select. D &D. Um, today should be a very interesting session. So, That's been pretty boring. It's no, it's no biggie. Nothing real crazy going on. You're just about to. Well, last I had a thought. dragon skeleton and half other dragons. We're just doing some zero G surfing, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Zero G surfing. Um, but yeah, the new, it's our new attraction at the theme park. Right. <laughs> you guys had a great weekend. Um, and then ended it with a bang, as always, with uh, with a little bit, uh, with a little bit of D and D, a little bit of nerd stuff. Uh, I'm a little listen. Just to kind of real talk, put it out there. Not just this session, but these next, like, however many sessions are probably going to be the most dangerous sessions. Uh, like, this is, this is... I'm scared. Look, this man, you real, can't TPK me today. I have plot armor, so I'm good. Don't make me say, Ethan. Don't is that why say. you've got a 22 AC? Uh, 23, actually. Jeez. Plot um, armor turns my guy into bought like armor. armor. I, I know, I, I, know I rarely armor. give you this warning, but... From here on out, just in case, start don't thinking. Don't be dumb. Start thinking of. We're oh, quite, I don't, I, we're I quite never literally, literally down to four people. Because you're like, like I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm, I, I don't say this lightly, but keep, start working on the back of the couch just in case. I mean, I'm, I'm fully, thinking, I'm fully prepared because I had to earlier, so I've, I've got it. It's ready. Gotcha. If I I've don't do that, right, right, I just don't come back when I die. Yeah, it's, it's just Prezi. That's up to you, man. Other Prezi comes back. <laughs> Prezi just but, goes um, back. I've got the pun bad right like, now, so I've, I've never really given you a warning like this before, so I hope you understand that if you know this is, this is real, like this. This yeah. is if have you a, die in the game, you die in real no, life. Have a backup this character is bullying. ready because for these next, yeah, I come like, to your house these quickly. next however many sessions, <laughs> we're up in the ante. Uh, is all I'm saying. Um, Who's ante? As far as announcements go, uh, let's start. Let's start with a fun one, guys. Uh, drum roll, please. Bell's back. Yippee! Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Right. Oh. She's Worst back. Day of my life. She's, it's me. She's, we've all missed you. I'll stop talking. A lot. Have we? And uh, okay. it's 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 good to finally see that camera slots filled in <laughs> because holy fuck, dude. Thanks. Yeah, it just kind of threw the whole feng shui off. Like yeah, we don't actually need now you now in that slot. We just need session, someone so it's like, in that slot. Fuck, me, fuck yeah. me, dude. Now we still have an empty camera we, slot. We, this we, I tagged in. He tagged out. Yeah. Exactly. We 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 traded up. Actually, it's fine. Mm -hmm. True. It is definitely. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's bad. Find out that like Do and Bell have like a court mandated separation, yeah. so they can only have one or the other every week. Yeah, there's some like behind the scenes fucking drama going on, but there's like a restraining order in place that we just don't know about. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's a Welsh guy. versus Jordy thing, you know. <laughs> the worst. Thing yeah, you. Really. But uh, yeah, Bell. I mean, shit, dude. Uh, shit. You've been gone for a long time. Luckily, I guess for you, there were also a lot of cancellations in your time away. So, like in game, it's only yeah. been a couple of weeks, really. This it worked really well. It's, it's, been, it's been like like a week. It's been like a week. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, it's only been it's only been ten or eleven days since uh, uh, Elazarin was able to cast gentle repose on my body, and that was like a day after I died. So, like I've only been dead for like less than two weeks in game. It's <laughs> like crazy, like. <laughs> So, Two weeks, like, dead. As far as like the in-game <laughs> stuff, Kes hasn't missed a whole lot. Uh, that being said, the last few sessions she has been... and hasn't simultaneously. Yeah, like the last, like the first week, <laughs> in-game week, not missed much. But the last, the last like two in-game days have been like damn so, like, shit, chaos, chaos. But, um, it's good to have you back, Bell. I, you know, we've we've kept in touch, and I've been saying mm -hmm. that we all miss you and want you back. We soon, missed your so. chaos. <laughs> I miss you guys too. Aww. Aww. Clip it, chat, Aww. clip it! <laughs> <laughs> Prove it, proof! Well, I'm much mentally healthier now, so... That's fucking <laughs> that is awesome. good, we love that. Awesome. Love good. that for you. Not yeah. physically, but mentally. Mentally? I, I think physically... Yeah. More. She's, not, she's, not, she's not messed up in the head. Wow. No, no. I think physically there's not much that can be done to improve Bell's condition. I mean... Yeah, we're, <laughs> like, 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 we're okay. harvesting babies for stem cells. Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, 
Anyone else have any announcements? Anything they want to, you know? Like, oh, I don't know. Bell, do you want to do like a snack. whole, you know, because you, you're a fucking queen bitch. Do you have like a, a fucking spiel? Um, no. I mean, I don't know how much you guys said about why I left. <laughs> uh, fuck all. Of you, were you were taking sabbaticals. Just a, mm -hmm. a mental health yeah. sabbatical is basically what we. Uh, yeah, basically, I had a mental breakdown. <laughs> My PTSD reached an all time high. Um, so I had to kind of step away because i was getting like non-verbal and it was bad um and i mean it's not like you know D, &D is exactly light fluffy trauma free <laughs> yeah, and we go all the time no, so <laughs> not great not. if you're struggling yeah um but i'm doing much better like everything's much calmer i'm no longer having panic attacks like every day or every other day so i can be in my parents house again so feel, like we'll fix that pretty good We'll fix that. Um, that being said, though, uh, if at any point you feel like you've bitten off more than you can chew, obviously there's no, like... Feel free to tap out. If, yeah, <laughs> if you need to tap out, or, like, maybe not tap out as in, like, oh, I don't want to play D&D &D at all, but, like, maybe tap out early or something, because, you know, your head is like, ugh. That's, you know, just let's know. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, I don't want you to come back, realize that you've made a mistake and are out of it again for many, many months. You know what I mean? If you feel like, you know, or even, even if it's just, <laughs> you need fun. a break for like a session here and there, mm. that's, that's more than fine. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, you, uh, you know, you know yourself best, so uh, if things yeah. get too much, just let us know. Or none of us here are going to come. I'm sure also like... I will. Okay. I, I can't speak for everyone, but I, was, I would also say, even say, like, mid-session, you're like, I don't need, like, to leave, but, like, I need a 10-minute, say we've already had our 10-minute break, yeah. but, like, I need another one, I wouldn't care, I'd be fine. Exactly. Thanks. Well, uh, you know, we'll do our best to, to, to accommodate. That goes for everyone, by the way, but get, since you're kind of, yeah. you know, you've been on a, a mental health sabbatical, if, if there's at any point you're, you're like, I need to step away from it, whatever, let us know. Yeah. Tabletop safety tools are important, and even when you're playing with friends you played for for literally years, like it's always good to not forget that those yeah, exactly. exist. They're there for a reason, and you always should be checking checking in with each other and looking after yourself when you play D and D, because it can get heavy. Yeah, exactly. He needs weak arms. Shut up. Arms spaghetti. Arms <laughs> um, spaghetti. <laughs> um, All right, Actanis. I gotta go. No, that would be arm spaghetti. Arm um, spaghetti. Singular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah anyone else have any announcements uh they wanna they wanna uh our last nether deep session was was fun and it should be up on youtube oh, shortly i hated it and <laughs> dutch had some sunlock situations for a i got i got koi bud i got fucking stem on that much. bro i dude i, I koi bud i'm sorry i get it now i'm so sorry <laughs> He got, stunned. he got stunned like two, three turns in a row and he was having his yeah, best time. Was she was great, dude. <laughs> I didn't know he didn't pay Laura to do that to you, Dutch. The worst, the worst bit about all that, Dutch, is there's nothing like having a fantastic plan to be like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Instantly, first roll, it's out of the window. Like. Yep. That's what he did, because he's like, yep. I sit down, He was his character was preparing some sort of epic Stormlord <laughs> moment, and I could tell, yeah. and then I was like, yeah. uh-oh. Yeah. All right, make a save for me. And then it just... There's yeah. wisdom yeah. saves, and like my character, like yep. I'm a fighter, so like... All my stats are pog, except for intelligent wisdom. I'm dumb as fuck. And then Laura just goes, oh yeah, you know, wisdom save? And I'm like... So you're basically playing UIRL. Excuse me? I'm smart as fuck, motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that'll be up on YouTube soon. And then our next session, we're hoping, we're also we're going to play next Saturday oh, as well. I can do we'll 16th, play. by the way. I, I, okay. Okay. On the break, I'll remind you to go react yeah, to I'll that react message to that, so we that, know that. that. Anyway, yeah, I can. so hopefully we should be able to play the 16th thing. I think the only one we're still waiting on Bowdy and K, and Bowdy was pretty sure he could have checked. K was a maybe not, but we'll play if we're down one person still. So fucking Bowdy. So we should hopefully be playing next Saturday as well, and we're we're in the middle of like a underwater calamity Doing era a good old city dungeon, dungeon crawl. Delve, like dude. it's real it's cool. Dumb. Like it's dungeon real delving is my favorite part of D and D. Love playing. Fuck them. But I don't like I don't I don't dislike playing them, but I find I love DMing them a lot as a player. I get so nervous and anxious. I don't like playing them because I still just want to be too safe about it. And I'm like, no, but we don't know what's in there. We could die. We've done what we came to go. Let's leave. But as a DM, I'm like, yes, because there's for me, there's so no much cool stuff. Explore, have fun. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why <laughs> I'm always it. like, I throw these like big dungeons at you guys, and you guys are just like MSQ and I try. I'm like, there's so much, I cool, try, there's so much cool stuff, guys. I try I get so it now. hard every time, Dutch. <laughs> 
I do. Yeah, I, I get it now. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, other yeah. than that, uh, birthday stream happened, and it was a lot of fun. And I think because of it, we're going to see, uh, at least me and Ethan want to try and do like once a month Red Dragon Inn streams because it was oh, dude, I'd be fun and a that. good time. I, I was going to join uh, Shit happened. Friday, but dude, I, last week, okay, like quick, I'm also mentally not in a great place right now. Bell, you know, Wait. bye. But uh, there's a lot of stress going on involving like work and I, Friday, I clocked off work and I was like, I'm going to take a nap. Then I'll join the boys for some birthday shenanigans. And I ended up sleeping till like 10, 11 p.m. Like, you know, I, I did the classic depression nap and slept for like six hours. The depression nap. So, uh, that was fun. <laughs> yep. Wait, Either way, we're going to make it a thing. I'm so if, if it sounds like fun and that's something you might ever want to join, yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. we could have rotating people joining us because we have the mods so up to eight of us can play. So, you know, we can have nice. people there. Be fun. Like the coolest story of the time. He's in the depression's downwards fall. <laughs> Fuck. We're about to get hit hard. It, it, I mean, we're about to get hit hard, bro. There's a just, reason just I gave you the warning nap. that, hey guys, you might die, you know? Yeah. Hey guys, yeah. you might die. Why is that? My, you know, no, like... This is like, unironically, yeah, no. I, my writing is at its best when I'm not feeling great. So I know you've said I mean, previously. That's, that's, that's common for a lot of artists in any art form. I thought form. you were going to say it's The trauma best, informs the work. Like when I started working <laughs> on the campaign <laughs> 3 stuff and like all the maps I made, that was when I was like giga depressed as well. So like the, when I'm get giga depressed, my like... My creativity, when it comes to like my creative outlets of like writing D and D stuff, is at an all time high. The productivity. I mean, at is least way that's and... one thing that could maybe help you put up a, a positive ish spin on. You're yeah. like, well, this isn't at least the all for nothing. At least something comes out of when you yeah, have I to go so. through that period. So, yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I just for some reason my creativity is like a, I guess because escapism. Escapism, right? I'm like, oh, I'm gonna write all these epic stories so that I don't have to think about my own. I, I write fantasy. Yeah, exactly. So, but um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're doing better. It's, uh, I'm, doing, do no, I'm doing better. It's just it's been a rough week, you know. We all have those. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, Laura. Yes. It's ten people for Red Dragon. Inn. Fuck yeah, let's go. Sure. Uh, but I mean, we could play other games. We could just have a board game month, month night. Board game Thank month. Board game month night. <laughs> a TM. monthly board game night. There patent, you go. Patent pending. Anyway. <laughs> I think that's it for announcements. Again, the the coming week, my stream schedule, I won't be able to stick fully to my normal schedule because of wedding stuff, but I, I'll stream when yeah. I can. Same as usual. <laughs> Dude, it, Lord. It's we're going to be in away. Canada literally next month. Crazy kind of. yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, like a month and a half six away. Six weeks. Right? Six yeah. and a half weeks. My flight, my seat has still not changed, by the way, Ethan. I don't know what the fuck's I, like, that, but. Well, like, if it doesn't change by the 1st of fucking April, <laughs> I'm gonna have to ring him because it's Why? telling me. So it's oh. telling me that me and Dutch are on the same plane. Yeah. But it's saying that it's now a smaller plane than when we first booked. And it's saying yeah. that the seats that we booked are now like the the fancy front, like further up yeah. road. Mm -hmm. But Dutch hasn't had his seat changed. I see it hasn't changed. Oh. has. But when I go on to the, the website of the. Uh, airline, I can book his seat because his seat's available. Interesting. Weird. Which means mm -hmm. that he's not sat there, clearly. Yeah, starting. <laughs> Double check now. Yes, still. Seat 19B, baby. It's still there. So <laughs> if, I, if I book it, if I book 19B, can you, like, uh, what are they going to do? Make you sit in my lap? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Like it's weird because for me, nothing has changed about my seat number. Like so. I can look at it and I can book 19B. Like, Might be worth like doing we've, we've compared flight that. numbers and the flight yeah. numbers are the same. So. I would definitely call. So I'd be worried about them giving yeah. away your seat. Yeah. It's about it's Bitch, about a week <laughs> since I got the thing. So. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah. I have to get Dutch to send me the info because Dutch won't want to talk to people on the phone. Make well, you do it. Everyone has their designated I mean, the thing phone is for call me, extrovert friend. For me, there's, there's no problem for me, right? For you, something There changed, is a problem so... for you because you don't have a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd be okay, worried okay, that they... It hasn't like, changed for me, me, so, like, you changed, so you have a reason to be like, what's wrong with that? If I call them and, like, my seat hasn't changed, like, that doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> more it's because it's your seat's available. I was like, it's not the lack of it changing that's the issue. It's the fact that your email says this is your seat, but when he looks at it, it says anyone else can still buy that seat. So I'd be worried about someone else buying the seat and then double booking the flight and then mm. kicking you off because they fucked up. Like that's what I'd be worried about. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll deal with it at some yeah. point. I'm sure I'll end up in Canada anyway. Oh yeah, yeah baby. I, I just want to hold Dutch. Dutch just holding on to the, the wing of the plane for eight hours. Like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
even if it's like he's in the landing gear, bro. Even if it means me and Ethan aren't seated together, it's fine. We'll sleep for eight hours. Look, okay. who I can't hold some random man or woman's hand when we get turbulence, okay? So you can hold their cock, though. <laughs> no, you really can't. That's that's how not it on your way happens. into a country. Uh, oh, no, you it's, asked it's like you first. You asked them, "Are you okay with me holding yeah, your yeah, cock?" Yeah, you asked them first, of course. Yeah, consent. Consent's important. All that matters. Exactly. Yeah, um, but it's in public, so you'd have to get consent of everyone on the plane. Well, no, because they're like, going to give you a blanket, like, and you can just, like, cover up, you know? Comes over to you. That they just, oh, Soko, yeah. you've thought about this too much, my guy. No, I've just... <laughs> I've just right. been jacked up on planes. Should we, uh... No, should I, we, should I, we, I, do, more, yeah, I do have go. one more quick announcement, Wait, okay, and then we can get into it. Um, tomorrow, there is going to be a huge site-wide restock on the Cosmic Candles website, and there's going to be two new candles, two new smells coming. So if you are someone who, like me, is a candle addict and wants to get the new ones or just your favorite one restocked before it sells out, because all of us in the Discord are, like, foaming at the mouth waiting for this restock, so shit will sell out again. So uh, check it out tomorrow. And use my code. Save money. Okay. So, gamers. Uh, last we left off, okay, hold on. the party uh, was in uh, Kalzir, in the Expanse, uh, after... Having been transported there previously, and they were getting themselves ready to um, travel to a place known as the Cataclysm, uh, the Expanse, to hunt down the first of five ancient dragons. Their first target is Deathjaw, the blue dragon, uh, the youngest of the five ancient dragon generals under Tiamat's uh, wing. Um... You were given a bit of information uh, about uh, about him, eager to prove himself because he's the youngest. Uh, very, very, just a lot of rage, a lot of anger. Um, just all around, not a great, not a great guy. <laughs> but uh, he, maybe a little too eager to prove himself, prove himself that he is worthy, worthy as just as much as these other generals that are way older and way stronger than him. Uh, essentially. Uh, so you travel to the Cataclysm, uh, fought some mummies along the way, because you were, you know, you were in the desert. I threw a little, little desert-themed combat at you. Um, and when you arrived at the Cataclysm, you were uh, you were met by this this surge of, of lightning and, and wind kind of escaping from this breach in the, in, in the surface of the world. Um, and Laszlo tried to communicate with Deathjaw and tried to provoke him and kind of got no yud as a response. <laughs> but um, after trying that route, uh, you eventually decided to head on into the breach. Uh, you found this group of Erganasi as well as one uh, Ginny. Uh, the Erganasi being dead, laying face down in the sand, and the Ginny still alive managed to utter out some words saying that they failed in their objective of defending the Cataclysm, and that the Blue Dragons have now found their way into the Elemental Plane. And the Ginny died and turned into a gust of wind and disappeared. And then <clears throat> you delved down into the Cataclysm and, and, and descended this breach into, uh, to, into a, a mysterious realm. The air constantly shifting, going from very dense to very light, and, and it was it's, it's a very weird experience. You eventually made it to this inner chamber. This inner chamber, uh, as at a brief scan, you saw this thin white veil, this white portal, being guarded by these four half-dragons and the skeletal dragon. You saw this one Ergnasi jump out the portal, screaming when she when, when she saw the, the draconic forces guarding it, and the four half-dragons each jammed their spear into the body of this Ergonasi, chucked it straight back through the portal. Um, this room you're in, you're all levitating due to the weird density in the air. Uh, just mechanically, uh, you're levitating, not flying. So I'll say that mm -hmm. moving forward, back, left, right, whatever, will be at normal. If you want to try and move vertically, uh, we'll class it as difficult terrain. Movement speed. Unless you're me, I have a fly speed. Well, yeah, unless you have a fly speed, of well, course. Me, if, you don't have a fly, if you don't have a fly speed, uh, yeah. Are, are you just saying is... half movement, or are you specifying it as difficult terrain? 
Uh, half movement, but for the sake of okay. it, I'm saying it difficult terrain, but half movement. Because mm. I get terrain things. Yeah, yeah no, this, this this doesn't apply to that. It's just for the sake of it not being flying but levitating, you would have to really try to mm -hmm. get further up. Therefore, you move. Um, but yeah, I have some waffling to do before we. Uh... So you've Yay. reached this inner chamber. You can see. Uh see these rocks kind of flying around um the room of the cavern you're in seems ancient the air hangs heavy with an ancient earthy scent stalactites and stalagmites floating around the room almost touching each other forming these floating pillars the cavernous room is lit by these phosphorescent mushrooms clinging to the rocky walls casting an eerie glow on the uneven surfaces At the back of the cavern an imposing white portal shimmers and hums with otherworldly energy its surface seems to ripple with unseen forces creating an aura of mystery and power that pervades the entire space the portal stands as a gateway to realms unknown, its purpose concealed behind the enigmatic veil. Positioned strategically around the portal are four blue half-dragons, each exhibiting uh, a blend of draconic and humanoid features, but definitely leaning more towards the draconic side. <clears throat> Their scales shimmer with blue hues, wings furled, and eyes alert, but dominating the chamber is a huge skeletal dragon, its bones a testament to an ancient past, and the entire body humming with necrotic energy. In the subterranean chamber, the convergence of magical enemy, uh, energies and draconic guardians creates an atmosphere of both awe and trepidation. The air is thick with the anticipation of secrets waiting to be unveiled. Before you go and make, it, make a decision, two things happen. Davian suddenly begins to glow this bright orange color and Ono as well. And they both <laughs> disappear. And before you even have a moment to, to react to what just happened, you suddenly hear this sharp gust of wind coming from the tunnel behind you, the tunnel which you've traveled through. And approaching you from this tunnel, kind of stepping into the light, is a familiar face. Yes. Ah, huh? uh, they've traded. So, I heard some crazy shit was about to happen, so I'm, I'm back now. What are you doing? I'm so- Excuse me? What the fuck are only, you doing here? There's only- Only I'm... one person at- when, Am I gonna get zoomed off Slater as well? What's, is this the elemental law thing? We can only have two of us at a time? What, what the fuck is going on? That's what I'm asking you. Well, we're about did, to go fucking go kill did you, Dragon. Did you, did, Dragon. You, did you switch with Davian, like, intentionally? Did you do something? Did you- No, I have no idea what went- what happened to him. I got nothing to oh, do with him. That's good, but hi, and I'll give her a hug. So, um, guess. I don't think you've seen this yet. Daigon is inside this, like, war-forged mechanical- Robo-tabaxi. Robo-tabaxi. Basically a robotic version of the Daigon you- and, like, the eyes of the robot glow with the one yellow, one blue that I had in, like, my other form. And, like, wherever there's seams in the armor or plating, there is the faint, like, ghostly glow that I have in my ghost body that just like, kind of peeks out any seams of the metal. Oh. <laughs> what not... have you done? What have you done to Dagon? What do you think Dagon did? Oh, well, technically, I'm not, and I'll poke my, like, ghost head out. Technically, I'm still, like, this. But this is, this is my new kind of, makes my life easier. I can pick up stuff. I cannot have to hitchhike with one of you all the time. Like, I'm not, I, I'm not attached to this, like, all the time. And I'll oh. put my head back in the robot body. You also have to worry about her real body. She doesn't want it anymore. That, okay. that is a conversation for after that's, imminent That's danger. a late conversation. I'll be honest, a lot happened in the time you've been awake, guess. It feels like you've been <coughs> for about a year, but it's probably only been about like you know, a week and a half, two weeks. So, so guess for you, uh, roughly We're whispering, three... by the way, we're whispering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, guess <laughs> roughly three weeks at least. Because like, you know, different, oh, shit. Plane, different plane that. Okay, it's only been like two weeks for you guys. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can deal with that. So, this I back to my first question. What are you guys doing? Um, so that dragon that's like that was in where you were that was a problem for getting your dad's cure. He's actually he she I don't know. That dragon's one of five dragons that are all working for Tiamat, and we've basically become chosen drafted heroes of elemental people to take down these dragons. 
So we're doing that now, as crazy as that sounds. And this is the first one. Not the skeleton. The... Well, no, this is on the way to the first one. Okay, I didn't know about the dragon thing. I didn't see a dragon, so I got very confused when I showed up here and it was just skeletons. So, okay. On our way to kill one of the dragons. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. On also, on on another one. Arguably the dragons. dumbest and, like, the easiest one. Not that a dragon's easy, but in theory. Oh, dumb. Okay. Uh... <laughs> A it's a lot. It's That's a, a lot. lot. This is kind of an awkward time because we mm -hmm. can't. We don't really have time for our chat right now. Are you feeling uh, fighting fit? Like, do we need to get the fuck out of here? Are you? No, I'm good. I'm. You can fight. In, I'm fine. Then you know what? If we make it out alive, we'll have this conversation properly. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we'll, right have, now, we'll have a lot of chat later. Going down. Also, should like, we should we be concerned about Tavia? Should we be worrying about that more than again, the dragon? Again, shit's going know. real. We can't. What, what, what actually Can't happened? It. Like he, he glowed, he lit up, he glowed, and then he poofed. And then you you're oh, here. Okay. Little, like Kasuth red. And uh oh, more like an orangey. Orangey gold. Kasuth golden. orange. <laughs> didn't it didn't seem fire real. Oh, it was okay. just like bright oh, orange oh, golden. Oh, okay. We will figure out Davian when we're not in imminent fucking danger. Uh, I mean, we could always just leave. They haven't seen us yet, so we could leave and figure out the Davian thing if we think that's more important. I don't. I don't know. I. Well, we don't know where he's gone, so I don't know how we can fucking figure it out. Yeah, there's not fucking much we can do about it. Can't, you can. Can't you talk to your looks at a Lazarin? Talk to your your god or something. You have a god. Gods know like, things. Like what? you, you do you talk to your god? I thought you didn't have like a relationship. Oh. He's been working on it. They've been like you know going to therapy. Ah, that's so yeah. nice. Um, I think I would if I'm prepared like this. I'm spell, so proud of you, last man. Thanks. I've been, You're doing so been well. Working. A lot, a lot has happened. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> but right now, <laughs> I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest. Didn't think I was going to be needing to talk to Joaquin. So I didn't prepare the spell that uh, let me talk oh. to him. I, yeah. I could try something else. I could try praying really hard, but um, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Oh. Anyway, I'm also talking. I'm gonna cast Death Ward on myself. Okay, <laughs> just real quick. Very before, good. I fucking forgot to do it last session. Mage <laughs> armor. Oh, and, then, and I, before we get into fight, I turn to Jack. I give Jack some vision blessing. Okay. Oh, nice. I was about to say, yeah, because didn't Abby have your vision blessing? Yeah, Abby had it. We'll record that. <laughs> well, no, I can cast as many times as I want. There's no limit. Oh, okay. I Never mind. I can cast things on myself. Um, <laughs> Jax, question before we go in there, because obviously if. If this gets fucked up enough, I'll get kicked out, and then we have to fix it. Should I? And I can help you guys a bit more directly when I'm like hitchhiking with one of you. Should we maybe find like a corner to stash my new body in, like before this, and I just be ghost me for this, so that we don't? Because I think that that thing looks like I could fuck it up. Okay, but also very uh, good question. <laughs> If it fucks it up with you in, is that better or worse for you? I mean, it's kind of like when I'm riding along with one of you guys and that I feel things, or, it, or it's not like that actually, because when I'm riding with you guys, like I feel what happens to you just lesser. When I'm in the robo body or when I was last time, it's like it took all the brunt of the damage and then when it couldn't take anymore, I got kicked out. So. Well, Kess is back now. So worst case, we could have her put the golem in there for the moment until we can fix it again, I suppose. I don't know if it's a good idea to put anything in. I don't, I don't think we need to put it, like, in in the, you know, in Kess's little pocket dimension. We don't need to put it in her vessel. That's, like, oh, no, if no, we no, can I'm just, just leave saying, it like, off to the side. Up, oh, I so have news! Like... I have news! Oh? You guys can go in there now! Oh, shit! Oh, we're not gonna want to go in there until we maybe get my body out. It's not gonna. Actually, no. It's been it's been reposed. It's, it's fine. It's, it's still it's pretty fine. chill. It's not rotting. It's oh, just like I mean, kind of lying on my bed. We got like two um, we got like a dead half. But yeah, you can go in now. Need to spray well, some good. in there. <laughs> okay, then then. You know what? Or. Well, I, I think you should just use it. Worst case, okay, we can I'll stay. The vessel, I'll... if it does get fucked up, and we can fix it at a later date. I'm just thinking some of the the like. Like shielding stuff, I can do. I still have to be like with you guys, like hitchhiking to do it. You know yourself better than anyone. Which do you think is 
less likely to get you hurt and also less I mean, likely like, to get us all killed. Right now, because we're whispering the MCs, I could leave the body here and then if I'm starting to get real <coughs> hurt, I can just come zip back in here and get back into it for extra protection. But I could start out leaving it here so that I could help you guys a bit more effectively. I think probably just, uh, just use the body. It'd be, it'd be fine. It'd be, just, just do what you want to do. I mean, you do you. But yeah. I, think. I also might be able to mend the body. Yeah, we might be able to. I I don't, with this arc magic, it might resonate with like some healing magic. So we might be able to like, I might be able to, you know, actually repair it as we go. I don't know. It seems to work a bit like flash, but no. We're still learning. It's a learning curve. Find out. Uh, great. Uh, remind great me, time Laura, to learn. If you're hitchhiking with someone, right, and they get healed, yeah. did you get healed as well? No. They have to specifically uh, tell you I will, you yes, you. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure it's not how it works. Okay. Like, because when I heal, when I use, I have an ability that when I heal them, and if I'm in the host, like, I get to, but if they, the, my host is healed, I don't get it. Okay, so it's not like if, if, if say, you're hitchhiking with Brooks and, and Laszlo targets Brooks for, like, a cure wounds, that you also get some residual. Uh, I will check. I forgot how that uh, Fifth level become more adept at manipulating the bodies you host. Murder, murder. Um. Okay. Uh oh 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 oh. 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 Or oh. thought. If we can make sure they don't know we're here until it's like too late, and I have to leave my body to do this because body not healthy. I can, I can, I can maybe possess one of those dragon things and make them fight their own friends. Help us in the beginning. I, me too. I don't do it very often because you know it feels it feels very violating, and I feel bad doing it. But they're baddies, so I can. I mean, I can cast. Uh, I can go invisible. It's fine. I can do that now. By the oh, way, I can, also, I can still go invisible. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. This time, I will I'll wait for an entire party permission before I go leave and do or touch anything. But <laughs> plan. She's learning. Down. I will leave body, go invisible, and I'll try and sneak all the way around, like the edges, and just possess one of the the half dragons, not the skeleton, because I don't know. Uh, how half far away like, are we? That's an awful idea. <laughs> uh, how far away are you? Yeah, because like I haven't been. So you're behind this period, like so kind of like see. this wall of like semi-floating, mm. like these stalactites on the ground. Jack, so goes right, on also... in tails. I I I I, I haven't been pulled in, so I can't, you... I can't see things. Yeah. Well, no, I'm in Tailspire. I just didn't get pulled in. Oh, okay. right? Boom. Now y'all are. Right. Right. Okay, there you go. So these, yeah, like, this, yeah, like, okay, wall of stalagmites things. is levitating, but, like, you mm -hmm. are as well, so they're still covering yeah. your feet well mm -hmm. because you're both kind of levitating in place. So this is kind of where you are. You know, kind of, like, hidden behind this wall. They haven't seen you yet. Yeah. So, I don't know. How far is that from the bad guys? Let me quickly... Say, roughly 70 feet. My plan. And these stalagmites are like twenty feet tall. Uh, they're they're quite tall. Some of them taller than others, but they provide I'm gonna example. Move, I'm gonna move my token just to show you the path. This isn't Daigon actually moving, okay. but if you guys like, well, like my me, plan uh, is go invisible and then go like this, like around the edge, the map scene on and then go around to possess this guy back here. I'll let bells and I fucking think Duke that might on. be a. Uh, Dangerous idea. I feel like the should... only problem is, is if any of them could see invisibility. Yes, right. That's it. They'll know, know what you're doing. Okay. You don't know what the powers they have. I can cast pass without a trace, and then it will be extra safe. Yeah, but if they can see, you'd it, have to come with me, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, but I can also go invisible. True. Yeah, but if they can see invisibility. It's like old times, except I couldn't go invisible for it. So I guess it's not. What we're saying like, is, ooh. if they can see invisibility, it doesn't matter what we do. Well, we can be yeah. invisible well, and also only... really sneaky, and then they well, won't even, even if they can see it, but they're not looking, and we're still sneaky enough, they won't. There's only see one us. way to find That's... out. I mean, true, but I, I just I don't like the plan of splitting too much. You guys, when you guys well, are far away. Do you want away... me to go with them? No, when you guys are far away from me. Well, then I keep close. To... Get I closer. Can... I can just like I back, back over here. <laughs> over someone going around quietly. <laughs> because then as soon as it becomes a fight, you can just float your pretty ass along and it'll be fine. And you can just get back within range, and if, if it goes south, we can try and make sure we you can, fall back to you. We can try it, I just don't like it. That makes me like it even more. 
Um, I mean, think how great it would be if we just made one of them fight each other. It'd be fantastic. And if it doesn't work, you're then next to all of them. Yeah, well, you'll t- you'll know you'll be able to know that they've noticed, and then you'll all come in and attack, and then the retention will be split. They'll be distracted. There's lots well, of us. Or they go. Well, this one's right here. Do I, go I also one. do I also go with so that if it doesn't work, Daigon has a meat shield. Fine, we won't do it, and then I'll just if in mid fight if I get close to them, maybe I'll try it mid fight if it's the thing you're looking rough. How about that? Yeah. That, 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 How about we all really sneak cool. in and we leave a last room here? That's the worst. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the idea of you guys Honestly. being away from me is the thing it's I don't beautiful. like. I'll just whisper. I'll just I in silently or just kind of cast. Like God, so clingy. <laughs> I don't like, care. I, don't, I, don't know it, but... Sign language. You don't know. <laughs> somewhere in the somewhere in the force, I can just know it's fucking Kess is back for five minutes, and Dagon's already back to that fucking. I'm gonna have to <laughs> learn that one later. I was just. Like, Kes is just bad influence. It's maybe it's it is Kes. Like yeah, maybe Kes is the bad influence. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Dutch. Quick I'll question. never tell. And I, I know what I think the answer is going to be, but I have to ask just because <laughs> it would be kind of fun. Ask your question. If I were to rotate one of these stalagmites sideways, would I be able to launch it at them with like a thunder wave? Or would that just break apart the stalagmite? Like, right? You can certainly try, man. Even if it breaks apart, it's still going to be like it's, it's, still, like, it's yeah, going to be like shrapnel. Yeah, that's like I could summon the so, big. Uh, so I, I know. I'm just trying to think. Like, okay, the so big like, hand could grab beat. one, break it off, and then use it like a weapon. Shiv, <laughs> like a shiv, <laughs> like a prison shiv. <laughs> 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 Dude, what happened to this party? Kess comes back and we're already making prison ships out of stalagmites? For an yeah, maybe that is the problem, hand. guys. <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean, maybe? You're welcome, I'm back. <laughs> it's me, hi, I'm a problem. Okay, Wait, I have an what? idea. Oh, God. What if we hide behind a stalagmite? Use right. it to move forward? Are they well, everything kind of floats around, so it could just be, oh, it's floating. This is the most, like, Tom and Jerry shit. I just... like, this is like that scene from Toy Story when they're under the cone. The cone? Yeah. That's what I was thinking! <laughs> are I want we able... to be a good team player, but also like, I want to rush in and just get are we, are we able to like, have a little like, peek, like, peek around to see like, where they are? Like, I, basically what I want to know, can I have a look around to see like, are they just focused attention like, fully like, straightforward or are they like... Uh, so you're trying, you're gonna like, like peek your head like, around like... Oh, I uh, kind of want to, yeah. <laughs> make a perception just check and make stealth check. Stealthiest, stealthiest boy. Uh oh. So it's stealth. Well, oh, that answers that question. I'll uh, do stealth first, I assume. All this planning, he's yelling at me for they might notice our presence, and then he's going to get us all spotted well, anyway a, just well, by doing dirt, this. It's a dirty 20 on my stealth check, so fuck all of you. Okay. And then... <laughs> just because the dice are nice to you doesn't mean it's a good plan, moron. And then my perception check is a 29, so double fuck all of you. Okay, hold on. Let me roll some dice then. You don't I need to, you can just hit it, Phil. It's fine. Let's see what this dragon skeleton's also, perception is, right? He doesn't have eyes, how can he He doesn't see? have eyeballs. <laughs> oh. This perception check is brought to you by- <laughs> so neither, neither does Dagon, and she sees just fine. Yo, Soko's got the cream pies! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to save one to give to Koiba. Yo, you rolled a 20 for yourself? I did. He did. He brought a fucking 22 and I'm bullshit, didn't he? Kill myself. Roll 16 See? plus 8, oh. 24 on my perception. <laughs> See, bitch? Yeah. You're all worried yeah. about me sneaking yeah. over there and you just get us so really caught out. So as you peek your head around, you can see this yeah, skeletal so dragon about. immediately locks eyes with you. You can see these oh, emptied the... out eye sockets just looking at you. Uh, does any of you speak Draconic? No. Not unless no. Kest does, because no one did last. I, I, mean, I, I have the thing that, like, like means I can know all languages. So it, it, it uh, begins to speak in Draconic. So if that's like a trigger for you to be like, oh, I want to listen to what this means, then you can. If it's that. You have the book, right? That allows you to just yeah. kind of yeah. cast comprehend languages cap. at will without using a spell slot, right? So yeah. you catch him You catch him kind of in the middle of his thing. Like he begins speaking, and his voice is just this very... He speaks, yet his mouth doesn't move. The skeletal jaws are locked, but you can still hear this booming voice, just... And at that point, 
test your cast component languages and instructions clear no one in no one out we even tried to go in here and as soon as this clocks you uh Lazarin, it is going to <laughs> do a thing <laughs> it's gonna fire something that's like an AOE. We're all grouped up, and Elastin's gonna get us all down to half within a second. It sees him. It immediately starts stripping. No. Uh, it is going to. You can see his mouth begins to open. Yep. And breathless. there's this lightning begins to collect in its mouth, and it is going to use a lightning breath. You are all in cover. God damn it! But your cover gets fucking <laughs> splintered blows apart and it doesn't really blow apart with like a lot of force the things don't go flying anywhere but you can see yeah. there's like these loose pieces of stalagmite and stalactite still levitating but just clearing the way for in full yeah. view of everyone just i would like everyone to roll initiative i was like just before that happens you just go and go okay they uh they see us 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 <laughs> so <laughs> fucking based on that interaction then Dutch, i should have mm -hmm. just tried anyway because i couldn't have gone any worse would than i then be able to tell to whether my shrapnel right idea would work or not that's what um you get the sense that just Probably physics don't really apply here man like even yeah, if, like okay. things just kind of do their own thing so you're not sure like this the lightning was this was like a very it was a lot of force and it didn't send things flying. It just kind of slowly floated apart from each other. Yeah, what's well, some initiative, guys? Cool. Let's, fucking, uh, let's, fucking, let's fucking do this. I just didn't want you guys to be right next to him, okay? Uh, uh, Quibba dice. Quibba dice always it, me. Back to my usual single-digit initiative. So, Quibba, your like dice is so there. ass, dude. This is a little ass for me. I don't your, know why well, I your, it. Well, your ass is so dice. You ever think about that? Damn. Okay. Thank you. Question mark? Yeah, that's a compliment, dude. I mean, you want to fucking roll. That it means in. I got that click clack ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got that click clack I mean. ass. All right, dude. I'd love to know what that entails. I have no idea what that instead means. Of instead you know? of clapping my ass, it makes a click clack sound. <laughs> mm. okay. Damn it, Colonel! The click of my ass is giving me I away. <laughs> I don't clap my cheeks. I click clack my cheeks. What is wrong with you? Um. All right. Initiative twenty or more. A uh, natural 20 for a 24. Right. 15 to 20. 17. 16. 16 for Jax? Guys, round of applause. I, I, got, I got to roll he twice. He has advantage, it's, remember? Yeah, oh, that's true. Got to roll twice. It's uh, not that crazy. 10 to 15? Also, Ethan fucking died. Wait, where did Ethan go? He left. I don't know. This oh. bitch was like, oh yeah, shit, I need dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you roll, Dagon? Eight. Eight. We'll wait for Brooks then. Uh, let me see. Pretty nice weather we're having. What did you roll, Jax? 16. 16. 16. And my dex is definitely lower than anyone else's, so don't even worry about <laughs> it. You know about that? One of these people could have like. Dude, I have a fucking six. Yeah, one of these could have a that's four. That's less than most creatures in the game. This could have a, one of these could have a four, and they're like, doi 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 doi, you know? I doubt it. I, mean, so do I, I, mean, I didn't realize if he, one of them has he, less like, dex than me, Quavo, I, I will buy honest. you dinner next week. <clears throat> what? If any of them have less dex than me, I will buy you dinner next week. I'm they don't have less dex than you. That is literally Milo. <gasps> don't Crazy. Milo. It does, it's our mascot, guys. See, He's that's Milo. the only reason we wanted Bell back. It's just Milo. I wouldn't say lie, it's the only reason, the, but it's a big happy. plus. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, happy Real talk, not gonna lie, if it wasn't, you know, like a logistic nightmare for planning, and if our venue allowed pets, I would have allowed people to bring dogs as plus ones, and Bell's invitation would have said, like, Bell Mist and Milo. For sure. <laughs> oh, he would have been allowed to come. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I was oh. like, I'd rather have people bring their dogs to the wedding than their children, because it's a no kids yeah. allowed wedding. So. Like, fuck. <laughs> That's why I can't come. Dude, dogs can get drunk with the people. <laughs> yeah. You do have that dog in you. Dude, I got that dog <laughs> in me. <laughs> yeah, I just got that click clack in me. Oh. Is it because my ass click clacks? Come on, back joke. I got a second. It's okay. It's I didn't right. get it. I, I know you got it. I honestly, as long as I make you laugh, I'm happy. You're very good. Oh, it's, it's, really hard. Hard. it's a low bar, but. It's a real you know. low bar, but I'm happy to oblige. It's all good. Oh, gee, thanks for the three sub, bro. Appreciate you. Thank for you. Ethan. Ethan just kind of vanished. I don't know where the fuck he went. I know, all of a sudden he's gone. I don't wait, know what? what? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. 
Are you okay? Probably. But like for so a second, I was like, see. wait, is he sitting like in like behind this? Yeah. You know, that right, kind of yeah. looks like a person. Right? Yeah, it does. It's where we just suddenly see like flames up the wall, and we're like, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, Damn our fucking picture. when we were just starting, my mom came in the room and was like, oh yeah, the dryer was on fire. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, like the you know the, 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 like the dust filter in oh, the dryer yeah. just yeah. wasn't. There he is. He's back. Caught fire because of so much dust. Roll initiative, Ethan. Hello. Oh, where the fuck did you go? I didn't even realize you left. And uh, was like, I, I heard my stepdad and... shouting me. Oh, okay, gotcha. I uh, did. I just say I'm sorry. I'll be back in a second. I didn't. Know I, I heard my stepdad shouting me. I go downstairs. My fucking my coworker that lives nearby is downstairs. He's like, do you have like a premix brownie mix? We're trying to make weed brownies and we don't have any. <laughs> and everywhere <laughs> sold out. And I'm like, no, but I have Incredible. a brownie recipe and I have ingredients. Here's the book, a bag full of ingredients. Fuck off. What the fuck? So That's the most funny. random shit ever. Right, Literally uh... turned up at my house for weed brownies. <laughs> Roll some initiative, brother. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. Uh, that's a 10. Uh, oh, you go. Funny. Right, exactly. Better than me. You should have just made someone else roll right. for me. Last low. That's me. Uh, fucking uh, Eldomio comes out. Eldomio comes out. Yeah, yeah and Juliet. You uh, staying put where you are when you pop the dome? Uh, yeah, I might move in a second. Okay, we'll do move in first, like and then we'll do dome. Now, because, okay, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, fair. I think I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20. I think I'll go like there. Uh, 20 feet, right? Uh, 30 feet. Right. This? Yeah. Six tiles. Yes. yes. Right? Six times five is 30. Guys, I can do math. Isn't mm -hmm. that crazy? I, I can't. Crazy. Right? Thumbs up. And then I will. Where's the fucking ruler? Oh, Ooh. fucking. Is that fucking twelve towers are sixty feet, right? It has yeah. strong six feet weak moves. Yeah. That's going to be sixty-five. Uh, we'll round down. Oh, cool. Excellent. I was making sure the pillars. Because his tile is not exactly centered on like four tiles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, well, I will cast like your, has your tiles in the, like the spiritual middle. weapon right in fuck in front of it. Spiritual weapon. Hold on. Uh, screw. Bonk. Um, screw. Uh, and no nope. monster. It's like right in front of him. It's like boop, right here. Yep. Like right there, baby. Let me give you control of that bad boy. Donka shit. Dude, you guys having Tailspire is so much easier for me, bro. I can yeah, just no. let you guys do all the fucking token moving around and I'll focus on the bad guys. You know what I mean? Uh, that will be <laughs> a 25 to hit. 25 to hit the old blue Dracolich. Yeah. Let's have a look, eh? Um, the hump? Dracolich? Oh. Dracolich? Oh, the one. Um, the hump? I like Dracolich because it's like dragon, but like that's. I like Draco. Uh, Draco. 25 does hit, surprisingly. If it didn't, I think I would have like, screamed. <laughs> like, really I think we hard. should run if that doesn't yeah. hit. <laughs> I'm oh, guys. Guys, amazing rolls of d20. Awful rolls on the damage. I put six points of force damage, baby. At least it did. <laughs> six points of force. Do, do, it was do. dead because it actually had like three HP this whole time. It was just uh, all. This guy does have like a bazillion resistances. So let me just double check. You're good. Yeah. The fucking spiritual weapon comes out. Still looking like the the nunchucks. Fucking yes, sir. twat. Uh, this thing in the knee. Uh, and you can hear like this 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 like bone crack, and you can see the oh. knee kind of like a little bit, but it immediately just kind of with this like very gross sound readjusts itself. Uh, can know. the spiritual weapon fly, by the way, Quiver? It, have... it does. It can. Yeah. Oh, actually, it has a fly speed. Uh, I thought it only has. Well, a fly it, it'll levitate technique. in this room anyway, so I guess even if you wouldn't be able to, Maybe. you can you can move it upwards as well because yeah. of the nature of this this room. This. I can just I'm like move it. Fly speed. Crazy. No, I can just move it up to twenty feet, but in any direction. So any like... direction. Okay, so you can move it up as well. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. I mean, it's a floating fucking magic. Yeah. Anything and else? I gain 14 temp HP as my end of my turn. Beautiful. It is now the Bracolich's turn. Here we go. Uh, and I need to roll d6 to see if I get my breath weapon back. Please, no. Oh, no, you don't. I do. Oh, I do. Oh. Well, that's gonna hurt, boys. 
Uh, let me see. Is the distance on that bad boy? Like 120 feet. Uh, About two 90 foot. foot line. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a line. Wow, bollocks. <laughs> That's 18 tiles? Well, hey, line's better than cone, or... man. So... I just realized where I put myself. I need Brooks, Kess, welcome back, Bell, uh, and uh, Lazarin to make... <laughs> Dex saves? Question mark? Not me? Uh, no, we're not, we're not in the line. Uh, you're good. It's a line. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A, a dex so. saving throw. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Does this trigger danger sense? Can I see it? You can see it. Like it opens his mouth, and you can see this lightning energy build up. And you've saw you've seen it do it before to destroy the cover you were behind. So yeah, I'd say that you can do. Well, I'm, if I mean it's not a spell, so that was all I had left. No, it's uh, it you know, there's a wind up to the attack. It's uh, you know. Okay, that's, that's not awful. 16. How much? 16. 19. 19. Muted, though? You're muted. But she said 14. No, she said 14. Uh, why did you tell her? Yeah. Yeah, she said 14. 14. 14? Yeah. All fail. I cast. We all fail? All fail. Wait, 19 Wait, fails? Wait a, 19 Wait fails. a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. Wait a minute. Wait. What? What did, what did the last one have? Oh, okay. No, never mind. I can't 16? do it. What I wanted to do. I'm gonna use my flash of genius okay. on a Lazarin save. Okay. Let me get to one. Well, I'm give him a twenty-one. Trial, so. Okay, so you pass. So you take half damage, oh. on Lazarin. Okay. Uh, please don't kill me. <laughs> imagine. No, it's fine because I've got evasion. I'm stupid. I'm using. I need to stop using the percentile die. Like I love the dice you gave me, Ethan, with the Roman numerals. With the percentile dice, I'm like, what the fuck is a C? What is an LXXX? You know what I mean? I don't fucking know these things. It's, uh, it's very the confusing. less common <laughs> Roman numerals. It's very confusing. I know the Roman numeral M is a thousand. I don't remember. Uh, C is a hundred. C is a hundred, oh, I yeah. think. Yeah. And and X is L, 50. L is fifty. Fifty? Yeah. 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 So XL is ten less than fifty, so forty. Uh, XL is my condom size. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, that's the WrestleMania um, it is this year. You all take 46 points of lightning damage. Except for oh, uh, Laszlo, you take 23. 46? Again, I because I'm resistant. Lightning damage. I'm also resistant. So 23. Uh, yeah. I'm also... Uh, I'm not resistant, but mm -hmm. evasion, yeah. so 23. Okay. So all of you 23. There you go. 23 no, but you 12. Oh, really? Why? Uh, Jack I, I, I give him lightning resistance on, on, my, armor. on my armor. That's one of my infusions. So, yeah, 11, yeah, 23 12, half right? would, be, would be 11, oh. technically. We could round down. Oh, is that level? Round down. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, we do. So, uh, yeah, 11 points. So, okay, myself. Yeah, no biggie. I still got 10 HP, baby. Let's go. 23 go. for everyone else? Yeah, yeah 23, 23 for everyone okay. else. Okay. So, is real. everyone still above 100 hit points? Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think anyone else uh, is wrecked. And this dragon is going to... That's the joke. Get the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> Ding. By the way, this for the sake of ceiling. By the way, this this cavern, huge. There is like the, it's like a hundred feet till you reach the ceiling. So, like there's a lot of it's room huge. for activities. I almost bought my condom size. The dragon <laughs> is going to take flights <laughs> and like, fly up about twenty feet. Please, I can you. Yes. I appreciate you, Quiver. It's me. It okay. is you. It is you. Do something. If we die, we're dying ahead of you. I have no idea what you just said. Um... <laughs> None of us, None of us <laughs> I said do something! How... wait, how far away no am I? No one cares what I say. Uh, I do think we're big. From my mouse. the... From the nearest, like, half-dragon, you're... Say, 70 feet away. And... The big dragon is... 80 feet away, but it's also... 20 feet up. Okay, I'm gonna go 20 feet up. I already have a flying speed. Okay. And uh, cast Sickening Radiance. That you sounds cool. Up virus new yeah. yeah, I have no idea how to yep. do that. Cool. <clears throat> do you uh, uh, hold your character so... and like hold alt while moving around? Mm. So you like get to turn her into a certain direction by face or. Ah. And control, That's holding cool. control while dragging up and down will allow you to vertical. Oh, Arrow okay. keys are the best way to move, though. Each of these tiles is five? 
Uh, well, the big, yeah. the, the, you know, every, you can see that these tiles are made up out of like four smaller squares, right? So like each of those smaller squares is five feet. It's five. Yeah. Okay, got you. Uh, it is what are you a, doing? so yeah, I'm, I'm casting Sickening Radiance. It's a 30 foot radiant, radiant sphere centered on a point of my choosing. So I'm okay. going to make it, uh, centered on a big skeleton boy. Okay. Um, what was the radius you said? 30? 30, yeah. This campaign and thirty foot radius spheres name, so, a better boom. Com name a better combo. Uh, let me adjust the color of this thing to a sickening radius. We'll make it look a little greenish. Yeah. Okay. Everyone has to roll a Constitution saving throw. I mean, these guys, even though their feet aren't in it, their the, their upper torsos and their heads are. So I'm going to say that this does affect everyone there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Enough to... So they need con save, you said. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the DC? 15. 15. The half dragons... Two of them fail. Two of them pass, I think. What's our call modifier? Yeah, two fail, two pass. The skeletal dragon... I rolled a natural 18. Boo. Okay. Um, regardless, uh, they all suffer one level of exhaustion. Oh! Ooh. Interesting. Um, Even when they succeed? Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, like, if they fail the other one, if the, the saving throw, then they take 4d10 radiant damage. Ooh! Fucking radiant damage? What the fuck is this? That's a spell from Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Yeah. Dim green yeah, light spreads within a 30-foot radius sphere, and on a point you choose within range, and the range is 120 feet. When a creature sure moves into there? the spell area for the first time, uh, mm -hmm. on a turn, or starts his turn there. But at the start of their turn, it happens again. Like, it triggers again. That's how that works, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. That's sick. Uh, don't save or take 4d10 rating damage. Suffer one level of exhaustion yeah. after the comma, so those are separate, right? Mm, no, I think, it I think it's like... It's a save or stop. Yeah, no, I think it's, uh, it, the ra this exhaustion also depends on the save or not. Which okay. Is how I yeah, if they save, nothing happens. Yeah. Uh, but that's still fucking cool. That's terrifying. 13, 19, uh, 23, halved. Stay in Radiant. that for five turns. Oh, wait. What did I, what, yeah, okay. So 23 for Boom. the ones who failed. Yeah. 23 for the ones who failed. Hold on. Uh, I need to do math. Boom. Who failed? And you failed. Is it half damage for those that succeed? It's no damage. No so, damage for the ones no who succeed. Damage. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, damn. So, like, if you succeed, yeah. it's, well, it's an unlocking spell. Yeah. So, you so succeed, these two you are also have one level of exhaustion. Damage a turn. They also glow. Um, so they, so they glow green uh, in a five foot radius, and it means they can't go invisible. Okay. Hold on. So, exhaustion. Um, so, the first level is that saving throw? It's on ability check? Ability checks. Thing? I think it's ability checks, saving throws, speed. Well, no, I thought speed second and then saving throws. Might both. But this way, so yeah, they have disadvantage right. all their ability checks. Okay, cool. That's sick. What the fuck? Never heard of that spell before. It's great. <laughs> Righty. Anything else you want to do? Uh, I'll throw. Wait, what's the what? What's the, the rule on that? Is it? I don't think so. So, oh. I was trying to remember if I got Eldritch Blast as like a bonus action, but I don't think so. I think there's there is like an Eldritch Eldritch Invocation that you can use yeah. to make it a bonus I, action. I think. I will check. Uh, that disguise it well. Eldritch I Blast so. as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. The other one is a hex, but I don't think that counts as a hex. So no. Okay. Um. Otherwise, yeah, I'm good. Right. What you do get as Bell is 15 temporary hit points. Ooh, thank you. We love. Since you've been gone, it's gone up. The, the number you get goes up quite a lot now. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Uh, Jax. Why don't I fuck it up Eat dick, pussy, alright? That's what you're doing to get your cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> I've 
Get off a bridge. Um, <laughs> I don't have. I do have range, but I don't have range. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I'm gonna move. Uh, yeah, I, I tried to do it earlier when it was. Yeah, my turn. you can't move yourself like, uh, when it's not your turn when we're in this mission yeah. mode. It's good, it's but it's... yeah, but also like, boy. <clears throat> so I can basically get the edge of that. There's. I go. Then, all right, guys. Uh, I think I'm just. You know what? Uh, just cast the first level magic missile. Magic missile. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Go ahead and run that. So. Where's your mic located, by the? When you look sideways, you turn very loud. When you look right into the camera, you're... No, it's weird. Your uh, audio... It's like louder if I talk like this than yeah. if I talk like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, what the... But it might weird. be because... I don't know. It might be because... Is that better? Louder. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> um, it could've, yeah, I could've just been talking louder too. That's... Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Could've been, could've been that. <clears throat> uh, Not at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on. Uh, three darts. Okay, so that's three, ten points of force damage. Ten points of force. All right. That's my turn. That's it. It's first half dragon. Hold on. Fifteen, ten HP. Fifteen, ten HP okay. for the mandem. No. Uh, half blue dragon. Let's see, what do you do? Oh, they also have lightning breaths. That's. Um. Oh God, we see the line again. <laughs> This one is going to move up 30 feet. Oh, 30 feet. Sorry. 5, 10, 20. No, fucking 15, 20, 30. 20, what's that movement speed? It is 30. <clears throat> okay. Um, it is going to take a spear off its back and it's going to just throw it at uh, Jax. One of the half dragons. Yeah. Uh, that's only an 18 to hit, which for Jax definitely definitely doesn't hit, right? Nope. This turn. This half dragon is also going to start to remove here. Oh wait, they started that turn into fucking sickening shit, so they gotta make con saves, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. They both fail, so. Roll another 40 10 damage, and they also have a level of exhaustion now. Fucking hell. Because these were the two that made their save earlier. Fucking hell. Uh, four, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. Okay. They all give up, give out this blow as well, and they also take one point of exhaustion. And that is his, uh, he's gonna. I'm gonna chuck a spear at, uh, at Elasrim. Nah, <laughs> fuck over Elasrim. Natural 20. <laughs> For a total okay. of. Hold, hold, hold. Hold. Holding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Silvery Barbs. Oh, your reaction. Fucking pussy can roll again. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes it a 23 to hit instead. And that hits. <laughs> but no, not 20. So get that. Wait, doesn't your shield give you, like, more AC? I'm not attuned to the shield. Oh, fuck. I had to unattune uh, to use the fucking. This man gave me the funny thing, being like, I don't want you guys flying around. So here's the funny orb. Instantly, first combat, like, with the first combat afterwards. Hey, you're all levitating off the ground. This motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker. Uh, you take 14 points of piercing damage. <laughs> and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. What Could the... have been 28. Oh, I'm more than that. Well, no, as a crit, 20. That would have been more. Because well, no, it's damage max damage rolling, and right? then plus rolling. Uh, more. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. A con save? Yes. Uh, that's a 19. Okay, you're good. Thanks, Dad! Wait, enemies don't get crunchy crits. Uh, Brooks. 
Yeah. Crunchy crunch. Hello, hi. Hey. What's going on? Uh, I'm gonna... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Hmm? 45? Hmm. No, I'll stay there. Fuck it. I'll stay in the dome. I'm gonna be smart. In the okay. dome. The first uh, time. How far away is Dragon Boy? Uh, which one? The, the Draco Lich. Big one. Skelly. It's like 20 feet in the area. Uh, for you dangling. Well, there's a ruler tool. Uh, 50 feet. 50 feet? Uh, what's my max range? Mm -hmm. Okay, fuck it. Uh, bonus action rage. Uh, and then... 50, so I'm at a disadvantage, or... That would still be disadvantage, so I might as well stick. I will throw two daggers at it. Okay. Is ooh, uh, both of those are twenty-five. Both of those will hit. Fuck yeah. Uh, that is a uh, ten. Seventeen points of magic piercing damage. Seventeen points of. Piercing damage. All right. Uh, and that is about all I can do. Uh, he's going to use a legendary action. No, he's not. And he's flapping his bony wings. Oh, fuck and... yeah. <laughs> right here. What a loser. Because it's not his turn, he doesn't have to do the save either. Wait, this is the end of my turn, so I get 10 HP thirst, right? Yes. Before the legendary yeah, you action? Do. You do, you do, you do. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was reading How something. How long were we going to sit there being silent before he... <laughs> uh, uh, 17 you get. 17, there you go. Sorry, right, I was reading something. Uh, and he's going to How dare you? A wing attack. Anyone within 10 feet of him, so that's in this case Jackson Brooks. Uh, you are being. Oh, he's a flying type? Targeted. Uh... Or just a fighting type? Oh no, he's a. Go and plot the electricity. Right. I need you both to make a dex save. A dex Why is it always dex, man? It's an effect I can see, right? He's flapping. Can you see his wings flapping? Can you see, yeah, can you see wings? Or is yeah. Brooks not have object permanence? <laughs> Like a baby. I mean, an effect you can see, but he wasn't looking up. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> uh, what's the winking uh, here? A 22. Okay. The negative one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Brooks, you save. Uh, uh, Jax, you don't. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's a zero, because I only have negative one on my saves. Oh, damn. Uh, Jax, you take 14 points of budgeting damage and I'm knocked prone. Sick, dude. What was he hitting? Can I be knocked with? prone like his, if I'm his levitating? His tail, his wings, wings. wings. Okay. Can, gotcha. can I be knocked prone if I'm levitating? Good point. Oh. 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 Yes, but you know, just like, I don't know. Because, like, 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 does the. The question is, does the area prevent me from touching the ground in general? Or. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, but like... I, don't, I don't know how your physics are in this world. Uh, right. So According hovering to... doesn't stop you from being knocked over, but it stops you from falling to the ground. So you are still prone. You're just prone while levitating. Like you're hovering, but you're still like not on your ass. You're just not on the ground. Sick. Okay. So Does that mitigate prone. my movement still technically? Then? Eh. Would that still mitigate like half movement to get up from prone? Like no. on my turn? It's still. Okay. Condition is the same. You are still sure. me mechanically not prone. You're just not on the ground. Okay. You're just hovering a few feet. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> uh, that was Brooks' turn. So it's now this half dragon's turn, and he needs to make another con save because he's in the fucking ray of sick. Um, Thirteen. Which half dragons? This one. Oh, this one. Yeah, the other one that's there. He's not in it, right? He's just no. Out they of they it, all like are. Styles? Like oh, their right. upper oh, torso. All, okay. Their upper torso is in okay. the sphere, so I'm gonna count that as. I'm just just checking. What did you say the roll was? 13. <laughs> no. 
That means level two exhausted. Does it like right? Yeah. 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 Oh, I think that's shit. ten minus ten movement speed. Uh, half so it's half half speed, like is, speed is halved. Yeah. Half. Oh, there you go. What a loser. Ten, twenty, twenty-eight, thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Five, ten. I love this. Fifteen. Not encounter for Kess coming back. Okay, so he's no longer in there, but he is God, moving at half speed. Out. He is, however, going to try and chuck a spear at... Uh, he's going to try and fuck Kess out of the air. Fuck it. This man's called, I'm so slow. You! <laughs> uh, 17 to hit Kess? Uh, let me just uh, check. Howard. Uh, no. Okay. Just Damn. misses. The 18 is... Damn. Mage armor. Oh, mm. true. Uh, all right, Dagon. Okay. Uh, I am going to move over here. So it's kind of like still in dome. I have some cover behind this, and then leave my body. So this stalagmite is hopefully giving some cover to my body. Oh. I'm gonna leave my token there, representing where the body is, because mm -hmm. then ghost me is gonna go. Try and possess. Okay. Actually, I don't think it's gonna work because my ability to possess. It's if a creature. Actually, I still could possess him. He just has to make a save against my possession. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna go try and possess the the half dragon that's like straight ahead of Brooks. Okay. What's what's the range? Uh, of so he has to make a uh, charisma save. You, from what range can you do that? Possessing someone. Melee, but I'm gonna use my feline agility so oh, that right. I can get okay. there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the save? So I can cover it. Uh, it's a charisma save. Charisma. Uh, ooh. Oh, 15. Fails. Jeez. So okay. I'm I'm now in his. So I've used my bonus action to possess him. Okay. And. Now, I want to make him go over here. Oh, I can't move him. Can you make wait, him wait, go wait. over to the one to the left of Brooks? So I, can... I, can give you, I can give you permission. There you go. <gasps> oh, my God. He's going to go over here and start attacking his buddy. Okay. I'm going to, well, my, my action is to force my host. Because that's one of my actions right. is force so your host I, I, to I make just, an attack. I just roll as if I were to make Whatever a normal, his regular like, weapon attack. Whatever his regular roll right? is, yeah. Hey, he's going to try and spear attack his boy. Yeah. 16 to hit, which just hits. <laughs> and Brooks, since you were right there, I'd say Brooks reasonably would have seen Ghost Me enter the body of that one. So he takes 15 points of damage. Yeah. Yeah. The dragon and do we he, hurt you? He will look at this half dragon, an Indraconic, which I guess only Kess understands. So he knows I'm possessing him because uh, he just failed the save. So, like, he's aware that his actions are not his own. He knows that there's someone in him making him do it. Oh, he acts normal on his turn, but on my turns, I can force him to do okay. stuff. Interesting. So I can use my action to force the creature to make an immediate weapon attack, okay. which he did. Um, oh, uh, and then I add my aspect modifier to the damage dealt. So add an additional oh. plus four for my modifier to what he did. Okay. And um. this possession lasts until he drops to zero hit points, I drop to zero hit points, or I'm forced out by like a magical effect. Okay, cool. So he jams his spear into the side of his friend, and he just turns to him and in Draconic, just goes, I guess, yeah, Kes can hear this. It's just, <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing? And <laughs> the other half-dragon responds, just, I don't fully know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that your turn, Dagon? <laughs> yep, that's my turn. That's my action and my bonus, so yeah. That's sick. This guy needs to make another fucking con save. Oh, dude, natural three? <laughs> to roll save, four right? more d10 cast? Jesus fucking Yeah, that Christ. definitely saves. Dodge is about to pull out every magic. wizard mini that he's got so that he can counterspell everything she does. <laughs> 10, 26, <laughs> 30. And level two exhausted, so he moves 15 feet. Nice. He's gonna, just gonna chuck a spear at, uh, at me. Brooks. I say Brooks has did a straight line. So. It's a natural 19, so that's a 27 to hit. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm using. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. There's no, a natural 19 facing me on the, on my desk. No, 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 no. I'm using a point of luck. 
But it's still a natural 19. <laughs> like the die I rolled is still a natural 19. It doesn't change. Because yeah, it doesn't change his roll. It just makes uh, him re-roll. <laughs> I mean, we're about to find out because uh, I get to roll now and I get to pick which one he uses. Well, I rolled a different die, so the natural 19 still. No, I was natural too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I get to roll, but okay. Oh, you get to roll? I'll pick the, I'll pick the natural yeah, two. Be, like, he gets to roll a dice and choose. No, no, it's fine. Dutch rolled a natural two. I'll pick the natural two. Does it, ma does it really matter? I mean, yeah, because yeah, it's funny to fuck you over, but... It does anything. Uh, I'll pick the natural two, yeah. thanks, Dutch. It only matters if you actually yes. hit him again. I mean, just like physically, whether I or he rolls, it doesn't make a fucking difference. Yeah. It's so right. that I can cheat. Uh, Laszlo. No, hang on. Mm-hmm. What do you mean he missed me with a fucking attack. <laughs> he did do that, guys. Wait, no, I'm stupid. Never mind. He is very stupid. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he could do that. No, I can't. I could have just caught it instead of wasting a point of luck. But it's so rare that Dutch range attacks me. You got Shit. Fuck. Right, Lazarin. Yep. What would you like to do, mate? Excellent fucking question. <laughs> the baby, the skeletal dragon is gonna. Float You're in kind your, of right there. Floating in your I, bubble right now. <laughs> I will. It's not gonna be worth doing that. Fuck it. Yeah, I I will cast Beacon of Hope. Is that another fucking dome. It is, but it's the <laughs> same as this dome. It's exactly the same. Actually, it's not a dome. Oh. No, it's just like, whoever's around you for like thirty feet or whatever. Oh like... wait. I missed I my. I have a question. You're not because... hidden here. <laughs> no, but because Daigon's robo body was in the dome, it doesn't get temp HP because I'm not in it. Like the actual like soul entity has to be the thing that gets yeah, the temp the HP. Creature, right? okay. The creature. The creature gets the temp HP. You never know. I had to ask. You never know. <laughs> uh, I can just choose any number of creatures within a range of thirty feet of me. Yeah. So th th everyone that's in the dome. Sorry, Daigon. I'm not gonna fucking give it to. Oh, that's nice. The dragon. Oh, no, the yeah, don't, don't bother. No, don't, not the, dra not the dragon. Yeah, not not the dragon lich though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Would have been nice, you bro. Coward. Yeah, but like, hey, man. <laughs> Common courtesy, you know. Yeah, exactly, dude. Uh, and then my spiritual weapon is going to move to this one and attack it. Yeah. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. It's. Or... It's a bit of damage you can deal. The minimum damage I can do is excellent fun question is nine is uh six sorry yeah the spirit of nunchuck comes from behind oh, I did nine. And just twats this mm -hmm. uh, half dragon on the back of the head and like caves part of its skull in and it just collapses to the ground. Is that the first spiritual weapon kill? Uh, no, no spiritual has got a couple of kills before. Has it? Has it? Has it? But like very small, like three hit point shit. <laughs> Oh, like, oh, okay. this, little, this little, like, rapid. <laughs> you know, like, that type right. of shit. Uh, uh, so I am then going to... Did that. Straight, well, there I am, because I kind of like where the dome is placed at the moment. It's kind of got everyone in it. I don't want to move too much. Mm -hmm. so what I will actually do... Sorry, this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, but I'm going to move out of, like, being in a line. So just, like, here, well, I, I guess. Move with you. Yeah. There you go. Yes, everyone's still in it, but I'm not in a fucking straight line with anyone that I can see, and that's because I'm being really stupid. This is like barely still, still is. It's about like yeah, her head's tip, kind of like the just tip of her head is like peeking out of the dome, yeah. but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll count that as her being in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. That will be my turn, and I get uh fucking sixteen ten HP. Lazarin. Hello. He is going to hit you with a legendary action. Sure. Oh. And he turns to face you. So, uh, hold on. There we go. And you can see in his mouth, instead of lightning, black, necrotic ball of energy forms, and it's going to just spout it at you. I need you yeah. to make a constant. Fuck! Oh. Can't help you either on this one. So, uh, <laughs> what's your next uh, character idea? No, I'm so fucking pissed off because I made a choice and I could have <laughs> fucking protected myself. I could have fucking protected myself against necrotic energy. And I was like, I would have necrotic energy. <laughs> it's an undead creature. Yeah, but, yeah, it's but a... he made this choice. But it shot lightning breath. <laughs> yeah. 
No. Yeah, he shot lightning bursts. I was like, oh, I'm fine. I did, oh. in the, like, epic description that was, like, half a fucking page of what this room looks like, I did describe the necromantic energy emanating from the skeletal. I ground. know, but you think I was, like... I think we pay attention. You're like, I, I will fucking attention. kick you off in this campaign if you're about to say say to me that you're not paying attention when I speak. No, I was paying attention, but you think I, like, listened in the sense of, like, went in one ear while I was like, oh, cool, necrotic energy. Wanna fucking run in con save? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a, a seven. Does that pass? No. <laughs> oh, close. It was close. Real close. Does that pass? <laughs> Can I bet that dog? <laughs> Can I bet that dog? <laughs> Is that your backup character coming out, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's playing like a like a southern little girl. Can I bet that dog? Can I bet that dog? <laughs> Can I bet that dog? <laughs> Why is that so fucking funny to me, dude? Oh, that, uh, that, that better be your next character voice. Oh, brother. That's his catchphrase. Oh, oh brother. brother. 7, 13, 20, 27, 29, 32, going? 36. Okay, you, going? Going? you take 41 points of Nicole's damage. Uh, um, how are you looking? Speaking Lazarus? of health concentration. Bloody. The DC, DC 20, 22. 20. 20. Oh, is it 41? 41, 41. 41, so DC, we'll say DC okay. 20. DC 20? Yeah, that's down. gone. You can uh -oh. help one. That was a cool spell. I enjoyed that one. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, I'm fine. now the Skeletal Dragon's turn. Oh, fuck me, dead. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, that's to what he's about to. <laughs> see if he yeah, gets his lightning coming. breath back. He does not. You're uh, you're still not bloodied, right? Ah, uh, he, he is. He is technically bloodied. He's, that was like two thirds of his health gone. He's gonna. He's gonna no, I have. I have being something sarcastic. Off. Land no, just right off. here. Because of, um, he's gonna turn to Jax, who's prone. Oh. 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 Yeah. What happens if he gets a skeleton? And he's gonna multi attack. His, rib cage. Hmm. Uh, he's his, his meat to... doesn't taste very good though. Indigestion. Um, you know. Let's see. He's first going to use his frightful presence. So everyone within 120 feet of him, so everybody needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Ew. Oh, I win these. Oh, I'm sick. Okay. Good. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. All right. That's Anyone? a 10. Okay. Uh, wisdom. Ooh. I forgot. Just to double check, this isn't a spell, right? It's oh. a feature. 18. Jesus. 18, okay. Bring you on. Natural 24, 23. Okay. Uh, 19. But only Daigon fails this save. Uh, Daigon, you are now considered okay. frightened. Uh, of the skelly man? Of the skeletal dragon. So, um... You can't get closer to it. Willingly. You cannot get closer to it. And... It, does that mean if you come out of the person's body, if he moves closer to it on his turn? All that. I was like, he. I was gonna say he can move closer to it on his turn, but then I would have to probably like. Yeah, I, then you I have to dip can, out. The um, question is. So yeah, you have disadvantage on ability it. checks and attack rolls while the source of your fear is within your line of sight. Oh. Uh, so basically, it's and you can't time. willingly uh, move closer to it. So if it can move closer to you, someone. you just cannot willingly go closer to it. No, yeah, but if yeah. Daigon's possessing someone and that someone moves closer, is that considered a willing travel? Would she have to move no, out no, of the body? No, no, she doesn't have a say in that, right? So I just can't make the host move closer. Yeah, like, exactly. uh, but if he does it on his, his turn, then yeah, exactly. fuck it, that's his. But uh, aside from that, you also have this advantage on all your ability checks and attack rolls while you can see this. Would thing. that, if when I do the force my host to attack because it's using his, would it extend to that or no? In your, I'm gonna opinion? say yes. I'm gonna say that extends. Okay. To um, so that's part one of its multi attack. He's now going to. Uh, Go for me. a bite and two claw attacks, all against you, Jax. Cool. With well, advantage. What have you, what have you done advantage. to this guy? First one with uh, advantage is a it's a it's a thirty to hit with the bite. No, I I was so close to stopping that. <laughs> um. For the bite, you take. Oh, I roll pretty low. Uh, Ten points of piercing damage. As well as 10 points of lightning damage. After five. Then the two claw attack. First claw oh, attack. Lord. 26 to hit. Yeah. 
take 16 points of slashing damage. Okay. Second claw attack. 20, 25 to hit. Yeah. And for the second claw attack, you take 14 points of slashing damage. But this okay. skeletal dragon How are you looking? jumps down Fine. on Jax, swipes at him twice with his claws. Jax Chilling. is not having a good time. <laughs> I'm not even bloodied yet. We're good. No, okay. You're going to say this is fun? You like being treated this way? Kinda, yeah. It gets me a little hard. I'll be honest. Just kidding. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Kes. <laughs> I'm an old man. It's pretty hard these days. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I can still do stuff while I'm concentrating if I do yeah, cast it. Yeah, you can cast, as long as it's not a concentration spell, want. yeah. If you cast another concentration spell... It doesn't have to be a cantrip yeah. either. You can do but it like... Don't. Do everything. Nice. Um... Is if you cast the concentration spell. Mm. That's fine. I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts. Eldritch Blasts. Oh. She classic. said the line! <laughs> Eldritch Blasts. She did it. She's truly back. Uh, you targeting uh, the big boy? I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Okay, the first one is... So many numbers. Uh, plus... Hit is... Dirty 20. Hits. And then the second one... 27. Yes, also hits. Okay. Um, right. 1d10. Plus 3. Uh, eight, fourteen. I mean, you also do necrotic damage, right? Can we get separately? Oh yeah, I do. I forgot I do that. Actually, wait. Uh, it's not um necrotic. It's thunder. Thunder. Mm -hmm. Not lightning. Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, you. Uh, that you can just add to the total because I just know. He is resistant to necrotic damage, which I, I thought you dealt. That's the hex that does necrotic, isn't it? Yeah, hex does yeah. necrotic, which is why I didn't. Yeah. Also, I have to concentrate for that. Yeah, uh, yeah so, uh, never mind. Plus yeah. three thunder. 17? 14 plus three, right? Yeah, 40 in total. Boom. All right. This, uh, every time you see that every time something impacts this thing, See, like, some of the bones kind of crack or, like, get moved, like, pop out of the socket. And then there's this very kind of unsettling, crunching sound kind of immediately puts it back into place. Um, it's just it's pretty unsettling sights just to see. Oh, I have three beams now. Oh, shit. Because I'm a, a, um, level 11. That's right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Well, again. Crazy. Nice. That's uh, crazy. another 30-20. Hits. I was crazy once. Stop. Oh, oh no, I started it, but sure. It started. Can't fucking fault him first. Uh, as much as I want 30. to. 13. 13. Uh, yeah. So another 30. Boom. Righty. Just... That's fun. Uh, is that your turn? Yes. Right. He is going to use another legendary action. Uh, Yay! Oh, before that, though, you no. get, you get you get twelve temp HP. Yay! Important. Have. Well, I have fifteen. So oh, then, don't worry about it. I'm gonna stay with that one. You wanna stay with fifteen? Uh, <laughs> you sure? It's gonna look at Kess. Yay! And <laughs> attention. Attention. Looks at you. <laughs> gonna regret and that. And Draconic. Mm-hmm. You're one of them. Oh. oh. Bear in mind, they just. Because they don't like the elementals or a war with them. Yeah. No, no. But still, and he opens That's right. Cast's Cass, Cass gonna this, miss that. The same necrotic energy that you saw him previously fire at Elanzer and now channels again in its mouth, shoots into your direction. Uh, make me a con save, please. I can't help you, sorry. I'm so fucking annoyed I didn't do this. Oh, oh shit. shit. Let's go. Uh, that'll be half damage then. Well, you've been back for like a, an hour and a half and you're already cheating. <laughs> She's got to catch up on many weeks of cheating, you know? 
Uh, okay. 9, 10, 13. It's 17, service. 21, 29. Jesus. 9, okay, 29 plus 8 is 37. Halved because you make the save. So, people, 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 people. 18? 18 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Three real damage. Three Please. real damage. Yeah. All right. Dax, it's now your turn. Get up. Dust off my hat. Oop. And I'm going to do my first Thunder Gauntlet punch to his dick. Okay. His dick. His first dick punch to his gauntlet. To, to his pelvis. Uh, 21 to hit. Hits. I'm going to make him like me. Okay. Old. Uh, ooh. Metal pelvis. Six thunder damage. Just thunder, yeah, not lightning. Yeah, thunder. Okay. I bring that thunder. 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 Then I'm going to whip out the furnace hammer. Use my bonus action to ooh. light it. Yeah, so as you light it again, there's like very violent fucking <sighs> flame. It's, you know, this is the first time you use this cast, but Jax has this this hammer that has this furnace on top of it, and it's fucking rad as fuck. It's experimenting yep. with magical. Very Karlak esque totally. weapon. Uh, does a twenty six hit? Uh, yeah, absolutely. What damage does it? D sixes. D sixes. D sixes. That's, uh, do I need to put fire diff? No. Okay. Fifteen points of damage. Okay. And that's my turn. Now... And you get oh. <laughs> uh, uh, fifteen. Nice. Okay. It's now the possessed <laughs> half dragon's turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, He's buddy. going to move up to Brooks. Hey, buddy. And wait. And go here. Wait. He's going to open his mouth, and a, a line of lightning shoots out of it. And I need both Brooks and Jax because you're in a line. Does that also hit the Draco bitch? No. Fuck. I, have to try. Uh, I need you both to make deck saves. He's next to that line. The Draco Lich is on the other side. He's immune it. to lightning damage anyway. Okay. Remind me what I make my next character never again to give him a fucking negative dex. I swear to God, <laughs> it's using everything in this fucking game. Um, Why do I roll, dude, at three? Nice. Dude, fire Sick. roll, bro. Fire roll. <laughs> I hate this game, guys. <laughs> dex? Yes, sir. Give me a con save, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, you take half damage, Brooks, because you made. Yeah, you, you passed. No, I take none because evasion. True. <laughs> I thought you said something different there. I was like, what the fuck is that? Is there anything? <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> no, I take young, none because I'm coy, but when he was. And I take half damage because uh, I'm resistant. But... 22. So you take no damage then. Um, Jack's 22 points of lightning damage, but I think you're resistant. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah. Kill, kill, kill. That's its turn. It was like all my temp HP. This half dragon is like super fucked up, right? Uh, this isn't one of the tired ones. Full movement. So he's going to. Looks like after me, isn't it? This. Like this. And I think he'll catch both Lazarin and Jackson. For oh, fuck's sake. That's uh, fucked up. I need <laughs> Jackson, Jackson and Lazarin to make deck saves again. I swear to God. <laughs> you keep positioning yourselves in the line, bros. <laughs> I would literally was like, I didn't really position anyway. myself at all. You figured that after uh, like two years, two plus years of playing Nicole, you would know how blue dragons work, man. <laughs> They're only half dragons, though. <laughs> so, fuck you. How about that? How about that? <laughs> you know that? Oh, what the fuck am I doing? What am Dex I doing in my life? Dex what, what am I? Twenty-one. Okay, half damage. I fucking take full damage. I'm, I'm not. Eleven. Go zero. Eleven plus eight, nineteen. So, the last one you take nine points of lightning damage. Uh, I guess Jack's uh, all right because he's res resistant. Yeah, to yeah. four. I take four damage because I'm resistant. Oh, there you go. All right, Dukes. 
Hello. Uh, there's a guy in front of me, so. Mm, this one's possessed, though, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would fucker. say that you did see Dagon, like, and you saw him oh, you see to stab his boy. Uh, that is a thing that occurred. If I do anything at range, I'm going to have disadvantage because he's next to me. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, I'm going to, as my first attack, uh, shove this dude. Uh, it's been a while. I have to remember how shoves work. I think it's just a roll to hit. And if you... I think. I think. I am pulling it up now just to double check. I think you're right, but I am just going to double check. Uh, you make a special melee attack to shove a creature either to knock your opponent or push it away from you. You're able to make multiple attacks. This replaces one of them. Uh, instead of making an attack roll, you make a, an athletics check okay. contested by their athletics or oh. acrobatics. Uh, I rolled I mean, natural threes. I rolled natural threes. He's pushed. Yeah, okay. I, I don't even need to roll. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, rather than make him... Yeah, rather than make him prone, because that'll fuck Dagon, I'm just gonna push him back. How, uh, how uh, many? 10 how feet? Many, 10 feet? Yeah, he gets pushed back, and he kind of gets caught by his boy. Like, pff, bumps into him. Uh, and then I'm gonna go... Uh, get to the side of this guy and start wailing on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fuck it. I'm gonna do another shove and try and make this guy prone. Okay. Uh, I rolled poorly. Oh. oh. So you're saying there's a chance? It's a it's a 19 total. I got, I got a natural six. Okay. Yep. Eat. Okay. Cool. Got it. <laughs> I I got a two and a six. Yeah. Cool, man. I rolled poorly. It says. End result 19. I did roll poorly. I got a 6 on a d20. Yeah, that's fine, man. I'm just getting my hopes up for nothing. <laughs> I d hey, if I took the 2, would it fi would he have beat a 15? Yeah, he would have. 7. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna <sighs> spend a key point to bonus action, flurry of blows. So you're not in prone. Yep. And then I'm just gonna stamp on his head twice. Okay. With advantage, because he is Knocked on his arse. Yep. It's a... Uh, uh, 24. Okay. Uh, that hits. Uh, bu -bu -bu, five, nine, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. How much? 11? 11. Okay. He's still alive? Yeah. Yeah, I just go for another curb stomp. One. Uh, 26. Okay, yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, I have advantage and a plus eight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for another ten points of bludgeoning damage. Still alive, but barely. And I am just stamping on this dude's skull. <clears throat> You're fucking full curb stomping. Just yeah, yeah. No, he is absolutely. Yeah. So, cool. He got a lot more him. violent once Cash showed up. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Your, your, your turn. Um, you I, how horrible do I want to be? <laughs> Still. Like all I could do, all I have left is movement. Is do I want to walk away from this guy and just leave him on the floor? Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll move still back over reaction, here. Right? Like prone doesn't make. Yeah. Him... No, he gets an attack with disadvantage. Yeah. He's gonna attack opportunity, yo dumbass. Well, I'm here. Okay. No, I was. Twenty-one to hit. With disadvantage. With disadvantage, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. But not pretty good. Uh, yeah, of course it is. I'm a monk. Come on, man. I have to ask everything nowadays, man. I don't know anything anymore. You take 14 points, so I guess half because you're raging, right? Seven points yeah, of slashing damage. Melee attack, attack, right? Yeah, it's just with his spear. He like jams, like he kind of tries okay. to go for a yeah. walk away from him. Cool. Uh, my temp HP will get refreshed anyway because Koib is cheating. What? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll move there and then. I'll end my turn. Oakley dokley. Do you, your temp HP is 12. It's more than I had. I was down to 10. I nearly took actual damage. 
I hate this. I hate this cleric ability. Can I hit him on my turn. <laughs> this temp HP thing is starting to really piss me off, guys. Honestly, I, for a one shot, I really. You want... know what I hear? I hear a crying little bitch. Like the, you know how for crazy, like how silly it is, like how much I have to upscale fights to counteract oh, I know. this shit. Yeah. I am. It's All right. One of those things of when I see when I first saw it, I was like, that seems powerful, but not OP. Been playing it for a year. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, that's oh no. Bad. Uh, dive in. It could friend. be so much worse. I can't move closer. The skelly boy. Is anyone looking like super, super fucked up in our party? Like, does anyone look and what real, you, real rough? Uh, as as super fucked yeah. up. Technical bloodied, me. But also, I kind of, at this point, probably always look bloodied. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just attack this dude who's right here for try and force my host to attack. But the host has disadvantage because I'm frightened, I guess. Even though I'm, I'm not attacking yep. skelly boy, but... Uh, yeah, but even with this advantage, it's still a 17 to hit, which hits the guy. Yeah! So whatever he rolls for damage, add uh, four radiant damage from yeah, my aspect one. modifier. It's cut which... down. Hey, hey I did it! I got rid of one of them, and I made his buddy do it. They were uh, brothers, Anakin. <laughs> that was like the most like sick evil laugh I've ever heard Laura, Laura make. Sick nasty. Like he's looking proper, into like, the eyes of like his friend. He's <laughs> looking into the eyes of his friend. He just <laughs> he can't control his own arms and he's just killing the dude. Yep. I, mean, uh, stop. I can't move closer to him. Yep. I don't think I can make him. I don't know if it says I can make him move and do the attack. I might only be able to make him attack. I don't know. When possessing a creature, meh, 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 you cannot be targeted or affected by attacks or spells. If, damage. Oh, if your host moves, you move with them. You can only use features that specify their use while possessing a host. It doesn't specify if I also get my own, like I can make them move and for, I don't think so. I guess I don't think I can make them move. I can only make them, I, I can make them attack, dodge or dash, it says. Mm -hmm. And I've already used attack, so. Yep, I'd have to make them do the dash action if I want them to move. So that's my turn. Okay. Uh, legendary action time. Jax, Elazrin, Brooks, I guess technically the armor is there. Oh, my body, you can, yeah. You can see this skeletal dragon is raising up his claw, and you can see this a bunch of like lightning building up in it. And it slams it down onto the ground. You see from the ground, these sh 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 bolts of lightning begin to erupt. Uh, I need Jax Brooks. Um, uh, if you say Dex saving throw, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna forego and say that Dagon's armor doesn't get affected. It auto because, fails. Well, oh, okay. uh, it's, it's not a creature; it's an object, and like it's, it's a bit yeah. silly to you know. So okay. um, those two that are, that are in that range, though, so the three nearest to him. Uh, Please make dexterity save. I'm gonna Brooks. fucking lose it. Uh, 21. Okay. Seven. Okay. Very good forward. Four. One. Okay. <laughs> uh, you both fail. Uh, Shock. Wait, really? Brooks passes. Heck yeah. Nine, 18. Okay. That's Four, enough. 29. You can stop now. 30. Just keeps 30, going. 42. Um, 42 to those that made the save. 21 if you passed and or have resistance. So this is mm -hmm. dex, right? Yeah. I take none. 21 lightning damage. Wait, how much? 21 lightning damage. Um, so 10? No. I'm I'm out here. This would have taken full. But I already have oh, it for fuck. you. I already have it for you. 21 attacks. Sick. Okay. Sorry, I'm dying. I love, I love that, like, I love deck saves because I get advantage, so I take half damage, if um, I pass, I take none, and Soko's out here with a negative one. Yep. Uh, Laszlo, it is now your turn. Um, I throw up my mouth, like, a lot. Okay. Um, just in general. Uh, I will. Oh, I gotta fucking think about this now. Fuck's sake. Uh... Yeah, I will cast my Massacre Wounds. Okay. I wish I had like a fucking freak, but sure. <laughs> Massacre Wounds. Massacre wounds. Uh, I will get fucking everyone. Oh, the bog of the whole party. 
like this. And so that is one. Uh, 3d8 of healing. Ooh. I think fuck that, it's actually half decent. Everyone heals 19 hit points. Big it's too bad big enough hope wasn't still up. Yep. That was yeah. what the battle was going to be. <laughs> you could just cast it again. Mm, sure. On the same turn. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this Baldur's Gate rules? Can I also now do a mask? Wait, why don't you words? just use your uh, legendary reaction? Not my one. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will then. Cast. Oh, I don't need the spiritual weapon up. I do. I do. That's what I do instead. 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to attack that one. Uh, that is a uh, 23 to hit. Hits. Uh, for 11 points of force damage. What was that translate to you, Laura? Uh, what, the guy that the guy that you're possessing hit? took 11 points of force damage. I take half, I'm for pretty five. sure. Um, it's uh, any damage dealt to the host, I get half. For five points of damage to you, uh, Doug. Hey, man, okay. it just needs to be, it just needs to be done. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's fine. I, I could take it. That's the first uh, damage I've taken so far, so it's fine. Uh, that will be my turn, and thank God for that. Get a fucking sixteen temporary hit points. Okay. It's not a skeletal dragon's turn. Yeah, maybe. Uh... Go. We'll see if I get my I lightning did... weapon. I, I, I am. I am still technically bloodied, Dutch, just so you know. Okay. I am. Uh, this guy is going to multi-attack. Uh, first thing he's doing is making a wing attack. Anyone within ten feet of him. That's Jax, that is Azrin, that is Brooks. Uh, the usual suspects. <laughs> usual, the usual suspects. That's Dax, right? Uh, wing attack. I'm sure it will be. Beat his tattered wings. Each creature within 10 crit. feet of the Drake Lich must succeed a dexterity saving throw. Shocking. A lot, of, a lot of those going around. 25! Life is pain. Life is pain. I don't have anything that makes Dex say bad on, so fucking annoyed. <laughs> I mean, I do, Take but I have to leave. Monk. I have to leave this guy to help y'all with that. No, I meant like, I you know, like, a, like an AOE spell is what I meant. I can have like a, I can make my wisdom, and I can make a. Like I, I can't help mental. myself enough to actually matter. So. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. it's, uh, it's a seven. Seven. Laszlo. Oh, 16. sixteen. So Laszlo and Jack fail. Yep. Um, so you take you both. Uh... Take Sorry, I'm, I need to... I don't think I've used my reaction this round. Hold on. Can I donate one of them a point of luck? Nope. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to give a Lazarin a flash of genius for plus five. So 21. 21, 21 is easy on this one. Cool. Uh, okay. Just... Um, so only Jax takes damage here. 19 points of bludgeoning damage and one more prone again. Oh, so if you make the save, you take no damage? Correct. Ooh. Fucking. Warm up prone again. And part of this also animals. allows him to move up to half his flight speed without provoking attacks from two. What was the damage again? Sorry. 19. Okay. Sorry, I just moved something else off. I'm going to put move out the line. Oh, there goes all the mask here slowly. Oh. Fuck, I've got to move. Shit. <laughs> Uh, the second part is you can see in his chest more electrical energy begins to surge. Uh -oh. And instead of a lightning breath, now casts lightning bolt. <laughs> Shoots out a lightning bolt. It's hit, it's hit me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jack's just taking a beating. Bro. <laughs> okay. I'm never building a Lodex character ever again for as so, long as I uh, It's a 100-foot line. Uh, yeah, I need you both to make deck saves again. Uh, Jack's with disadvantage because you're prone. Does that hit the other guy behind him? It will. Us too? It will. It will. Yeah. Cool. I just want to. I just want to feel better about something. That you know? dude's jaw is on the other side <clears throat> of the room. Yeah. So, eighteen. Eighteen. Roll the eight and a seven for a total of six. Eighteen doesn't <laughs> make the save. Oh. And I can't help with this one. Fuck. Uh, so this guy's dead, by the way. Yay. Um. 
It's a damage on lightning bolt, guys. <laughs> Uh, oh, 1d4. 48. 86. Nice try. Tried. I really tried. I hope you just believe me. Mm. So you would lie to your DM? And so no, I genuinely, I had no clue. I have mm. the spell. I don't know what it does. I haven't. I think I used it once. This is the fastest before. I've ever heard Soko backpedal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four. I'm definitely backpedal faster. 7, 10, 16, 20. Two, thirty-eight, thirty-one. Uh, oh. Thirty-one points of lightning damage to each of you. Uh, Off to fifteen. Fifteen if, uh, 15 if it needs to be half. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yes. So, Kess, from up there, by the way, you just see this. The, you, this is from your time with the party. <clears throat> this is definitely one of the, the, the stronger things you've ever had to fight and it shows this <laughs> barrage of lightning going out and people being knocked on their ass uh this is um you're kind of like levitating up there at that at that height just kind of looking at it all go down yeah but this thing is not fucking around <laughs> yeah i'm gonna stay where i am hmm. and... smart <laughs> are you where i am mm. that's being smart that's not <laughs> And fire three Eldritch Blaze at big, big skeleton man. Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, 27. 27? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 21. Also hits. And 23. Also hits. Okay. Nine, sixteen, twenty-four, plus two thunder. Twenty-six points of damage total. Yeah. All right, not too bad. You're beginning oh, to see. Racks kind of appearing on some of its bones and beginning to look like it's being, you know, it's you're wearing it down. Good. Little by little. Be wearing it like a glove soon. Fucking skeleton. Well, right? you have 17 temp HP. Oh, nice. Um, see. Moving anywhere, I guess. Um. Let me see if I move. Like. Just, just, just like here. That's still kind of in the bubble. Uh, you would have to move an entire square around so you here. I would yeah, say yeah, that yeah. is not in. Like right. too much of your body is like you could lower yourself, I guess. Let's 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 do that. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So, right. okay. That's that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. All that'll right, do. Jax. I really hate that you finally figured out that fuck my AC when you just, just do deck saving throws. I found it's, your like counter. found the answer. <laughs> <clears throat> um, found the counter to your shenanigans. Shenanigan. I'll be honest, dude. When I made decks, I didn't realize how much shit to actually used decks Dex until we started playing. And I was like, oh, uh, that sucks. Used. Yeah. Literally, literally, me when I made the cool. I personally love it. Decks. Because Soko's normally such a, like, min-max or power gamer, I'm thoroughly enjoying you a character that has a significant, like, There's numerical oh, no. He's still yeah. min-maxed, he just <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> he, Definitely like, he dumped up. decks as hard as he could, it just... <laughs> you know, he picked the wrong stuff. Oh, I was, just, I was literally just like, old man, funny, haha, no decks, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I get it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Hey, so I got thing, big dragon man, no decks, and then turns yeah. out you need it for barbarian, like, really bad. <laughs> Your AC is based on that. Um, right. Oh, yeah. I'm stand <laughs> up. The AC 12 for most of the campaign. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't know I could do that myself. Uh, you idiot. Ammo. One, two, three. Is that mm -hmm. in him? Am I in him right there? Uh. No. Okay. You're in melee with him. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, and since he's not even doing regular attacks on people anymore, so. Hitting him with my gauntlet doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hit him with the fucking burn hammer twice. Okay. Okay. Because. Damn it. 
damage. Unlike my gauntlets. Uh, 19 to hit? Just. Oh. And a 23. Mm -hmm. He's so 37 yeah. points of damage. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. 37? Yeah, 37. Jesus. Okay. Right. Here you go. Are you trying? Um. I, 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 yeah, that's. Oh, wait. Hold. I'm going to use my bonus action to drink a regular potion. 24 plus 2, right? I actually had one. Yeah, man, I rolled like shit. Five points of healing. Let's go, dude. All right. <clears throat> but you do get a 10 HP top up as well. A whole 12. Sick. A minimum. Uh, he is his legendary action going to fucking oh. yeah. tail yeah. whip you. Yeah. Oh. He's scurred. He's scurred. Like fucking intelligent, yeah. Right. Tail attack. A. I mean, 25 to hit? Yeah, that is. <clears throat> you, you take uh, 17 points of bludgeoning down. Alright. That was all the healing and temp HP. All I just the did. You just did. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And it is now uh, the half dragon's turn. <laughs> All right, dude. this guy gonna do? This guy is gonna walk up to Brooks nothing. and is gonna just fucking attack him with his spear. Hi. Natural five. Never mind. Uh, Brooks, Hi. it's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around. Turn I'm around, gonna then. punch him in the gut. My immersion, turn around first. Go on. There you go. Turn around. Okay, that's fucked up. <laughs> turn around. Uh, that's not great. That's a 15 to hit. Misses. It's an 18 to hit. Hits. Uh, five. Um, I have to do math. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Six to Laura or to Diagon, I mean. Or they're reduced to three, because I'm also resistant to bludgeoning, it's piercing, and slashing bludgeoning. in general. Oh, okay. Then yes. Yeah, I mean, is it. Are you resistant to all bludgeoning, piercing, slashing? Or it just, just says bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing on my sheet. I don't know if that includes magical. It does. I, let me check the PDF. If, it, if it's not magic, it won't. It will specify it not including it, magical. It uh, says. We'll say all non-magical bludgeoning. Regardless, this guy stabbed me. Dagon should have got the fuck out. I can't until my turn, so, like... Boy. Yeah, but Brooks doesn't know what a turn is. Yeah. I, dude, Ethan, it's my, like the, my, I, my biggest pet peeve of you is when you go, I know that, but Brooks doesn't. <laughs> it's fuck. I thought uh, it was counterpoint. No, it says, while, while you are... Oh, never mind. While I'm not so possessing a doing... creature... So yeah, I still take the normal half anyway because okay. I'm possessing a creature, so it's already like basically they're like you've already now got resistance because you're in someone, so you don't get double. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so six, yeah. six points of damage. So what you're saying, Dutch, is do it more often. Got it. God, I hope you're on a different plane than me. You know what? I hope that. <laughs> I hope you're on different flights and you accidentally fly the fucking. Also, it does specify from non-magical weapons, so I the magical. Okay, so it does specify will that. Also nullify that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It does. Ready! A flurry of blows. What we uh, blows? It's a 19 and a 21. Yep. You just hear an extra little ow <laughs> as you hit a voice that doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm fuck, I'm stupid. I should have added the fire damage for my knuckle duster. Oh, true! That's a thing that we forgot. Um, so that would be an extra. We said an extra d6, right? Correct. 
So an oh, extra four it. fire damage. Okay, so nice. two more for me. <laughs> and then for my two unarmed strikes, we're looking at six to uh, 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Wow. This is also considered magical because... Uh, I'm yeah, not... this thing dies and Dagon gets spit out. I'm bounced out. And as I get spit out, you just see me go, ow, like holding my <laughs> stomach. <laughs> but I give you like a weak thumbs up. <laughs> Um, and da so Dagon's in front of me. I am. Ghost me is in front of you now, yeah. I won't move then. I'll punch the ghost. I'll, I'll shock the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I literally shit. can't punch ghosts because monks. But uh, Yeah, that was my damn. I'll stay there. I'll give Dagon some... Uh, an invite, essentially. Yeah. Uh, you get fucking th th uh, numbers 13. Guys, 11 plus 2, super hard to do my That's brain, apparently. That's super hard math, actually. Uh, yeah, it is not your turn, right. Dagon, so. Am I still frightened? So I can't move back into my body because I can't walk closer True, to yeah, Skelly? True, yeah, you are definitely still I am still frightened. Because I don't get to roll uh, for wait, ending me, that, right? I may have or have I missed up? a chance to I may have fucked up. Hold it. on. Fight for presence. Uh, you would have been able to re-roll that at the end of your turn, so you missed... Okay, can Ooh. I do a one for previous? Yeah, you missed one turn, I think. So. It What's really the modifier matter. for the ending that? Is it it's charisma? A wisdom save, I believe. Let me double oh, check. A wisdom save. Wisdom, yeah. Nope, that's a nine. Okay, so you are I'm so still frightened. scared. -ed. Okay. Well, then I will. I will say that because you're in melee with Brooks, if you were to want to hitchhike, that doesn't count as you moving closer because you're all you have to do is. I was going like, to ask, yeah. Um, you know, touch him and he basically gets zooped in, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. allow you to do that, even though you technically, I guess, in that process, move five feet. But it's, again, it's yeah, one yeah. of those. Um, it's not really voluntarily, in a way, like okay. the movement part of it. So like, okay, yeah, and, and Brooks saw and kind of basically gave a, like, clear symbol. Like, hey, I'm waiting. You can ride along. So I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, so bonus action will be Hitchhike with Brooks. And then I will, for my action, uh, do my sympathetic mending and uh, heal Jax for 14 points and Brooks gets 4 points of healing. Damn. You don't get any of that. I can heal better than Lazarin. I'm back to full. Uh, you get 15 temp HP because I know you're actually in the dome and you're sure. not in a fucking... I get temp HP now? Yay. Yeah. How much? 15? Yep. 15. Yay. Laszlo! Hmm. How is everyone else all looking? Anyone bloodied? Uh. You're bloodied. Not that you can tell. No. But I'm. I mean, no. I'm. I'm okay with the temp HP now. I know. I same, will. Ah. But... Oh. Fuck it. I will cast flame strike on it. Oh sh. Oh and shit. I will Yay. put it. I'll put the because it's a ten foot radius mm -hmm. and a forty foot column. I'm gonna put it so I don't fucking hit Jacks. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> good radius job. Yeah, like you know what? Just kill me with column, him. Right? So we'll say yeah. foot radius. It'll be like this, but it just goes straight yeah, up. Pitch like back. Just, it, just goes yeah. okay. it needs to make X. a dexterity saving throw, I believe. Yeah, dexterity Dex saving throw. Dex gun. That one, but I'm going to be using one of my legendary resistances. Oh, well, there it is. Okay. Uh, we'll take 4d6 fire and 4d6 radiant. Whoopsie halved. <clears throat> so I'll do the fire first. Don't half the radiant. <laughs> Don't half the radiant. Okay. Because well, he's vulnerable mm. to it, so you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even though, like, it would be would have been half because of yeah, the save, yeah. but I'll say like just like. Just normal. Yeah, that's fine. Well, the the opposite would have been doubled, wouldn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it takes. Uh, so it's triple uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It takes eight points of fire damage. Then I passed my math classes, I swear. I believe you. And eleven oh. points of radiant. Okay. Well, Starting to look pretty rough. One. Starting to look pretty rough. And then as my bonus action. I will drink a potion of greater healing. One, two, minus one is three quick maps. Every day, Angel. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, now. 8, 9, 13 points of healing. And I'll get my temp HP. You do get your temp HP. Uh, fucking whatever that is, uh, 15. It is now the Skeletal Dragon's turn. Yup. And I do get He's my not attack. happy. He's not happy. <laughs> I move like this, he's still in melee with Jax. I didn't Jax. fucking move out of the shitty line again. <laughs> Do this. There's always a line, man. There's always a line. This is the anti-Nicole. He... Nicole could never find a line. Could this guy always finds one. in a one. way when he hits all three? Well, technically, with Nicole, we were theater of the mind, so I didn't like position. Milo doesn't like that at all. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm cooking. Cooking. <laughs> If he can you no stop? Angle, if he leaves can, can you stop okay. Will there be... No, we're not, we're not, no. Not really. This course is, and this course is 10 is it a 5 foot wide line or is it a 10 foot wide line? It's 5 foot. So the real question is, who does he want to kill more? I guess, I guess, wait, I guess if it is 5 feet wide, any, like, any square yeah, that any hits. Yeah, any square it touches, yeah. So that this would hit all three of you. Yeah. This is himself like this, okay. Uh, sorry. Brooks, Jax, Lazarin, deck save, please. As he goes again for a lightning breath. I even bother rolling. Yeah, because you could get, like, You could get a nat 20, yeah, dude. Get, you could get a nat 20. You won't. Why, you why would you guys say that? Because it curses my dice every time. That's I mean, I got, exactly to I, mean I got a 7, so... Good. I got a 0. Before you That's resolve it, one. then let me know what you rolled. I think uh, I've told three that one that's gone, I did yeah, fine. I was say, there's Don't worry zero about it. I did fine. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm fucked with, like, resistance. I mean, the DC is 20, so... I'm very good. Dude, if we didn't have these resistances, we'd be so fucked. <laughs> so fucked. Mm -hmm. I would have died the first attack he did on me. So, what did you roll, uh, Soko and Laszlo? Seven. Zero. Okay. Will fail, but you take half damage anyway because you're resistant. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brooks, you made it, right? And so you take none yeah, because 25. you're... That's why I gave us both the And I take none because of Asian. Okay. 12, 17, 30, 17 plus 7. 24, I'm fucking stupid. Uh, 24, 28. That's a huge skip, dude. 8, 35, 35 plus 8 is... 43, 46, 50. You rolled good. 50, 53, 58. Holy shit. 9 and 6. 6, 58, 64 points of lightning down. Half to 32. It's 12v10. <laughs> it's 12v10 lightning damage. 32 lightning damage to the both of you. Uh huh. That's his turn. Yes. So just please. Oh wait. Um, wait. X hits the ground. I... By the way. Wait, you are you are you unconscious? Uh -huh. Exactly enough. Oh my uh -oh. god. All right. So uh -oh. Jax is. Right. I haven't got unconscious in so long. It's been a minute. Okay. Hold on. I thought of, I thought of something. You thinking? I'm thinking. That's always a bad thing. It's fine. That makes it worse. <laughs> She's trying to figure out how she can kill Jax without it looking suspicious. Just Eldritch blasts me three times and I'm probably dodging. No. Yeah, but without it looking suspicious. I don't think Sorry, I missed. No. Sorry, I missed. Sorry, I missed. Sorry, I missed. I haven't had to use it in a while, guys. Never mind. It's okay. fine. Uh, Eldritch blaze three times. Hell yeah. I was going to have a Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough last week, dude. But he's just kept fucking hitting me. Ooh, one's a nat 20. Nice, Ooh. nice, nice, Love nice. That. So for nat 20, I don't know. To I... remind you, we do, for nat 20s, we do max damage. Max damage, damage and, and then, then roll as normal. Roll. Excellent. Uh, I guess roll the other two first, the damage, cool. just as, as you normally would, and then... Both of them, both of the other ones are also above 20. Off that good. Okay. Eight. Um, that one's cool. Still kill first game. Mm -hmm. back, dude. Uh, yeah, good. Fourteen. <laughs> uh, plus 
six twenty plus uh one d ten plus three thirteen so thirty three plus ooh, four thunder. I don't want to finish more. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm tracking the HP on stream, so no. I, it's I have witnesses that will confirm that I've been subtracting HP. And after, you know, he he was at 34 hit points left, and two overdid yeah. it, two overshot him. So. Woo! I'm not doing this just because Bella's back. I mean, she's getting no special treatment. It's just the way. That's it is. a lie. Bella I'm always gets special treatment. It's Bella. Yeah. Yeah. Special treatment. Was the universe good. gives Bell special treatment. <laughs> All right, because it felt strong. Right. Right. For what it did it. early. Yeah. So describe uh, your uh, your cue. I guess the the eldritch power kind of like forces the rest of the cracks, like all the cracks, to basically become go to the point where he just like crumbles. Okay. So. The Dracolich, as it collapses, crumbles to dust. You can see the necrotic black energy seeping out of its bones and shooting up into it and collecting into this black ball of energy, and it just gets sucked into this white portal at the end of the cave. Um, and the body fully disintegrates, except for a white piece of bone, razor sharp, with what appears to be a leather wrapped hat. But before we get to the looting side of things, we'll um, break. take a break. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back after a break to, to you know, divvy out the loot and all that stuff. and Including uh, Jax's belongings. Know, see what the mm -hmm. fuck is up with this weird I was like, wait, is Jax table. back up yet? Um, <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, it's true. I'll, 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 I'll run over, I'll run over and I'll just do two level one kill wounds on him. Okay. You don't want to just use the little sword or the little. I thing? want to counter spell then. The little ten charges that you have. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, for gore I have that. But literally free spell charges. You're fucking right. I'll do that. I'll, I'll, and I'll I'm use, gonna I'll I'm gonna just those. go pop back into my robo body. Was it just well. a level one kill inch? You know, what level of level two? Oh, it's level, oh, it's level two. I'll just do one of them mm. then. I think put up level two. So I was like, why not put level two? Is it that has mending? Three I have it. Right. Oh, we stood over so Jax we'll be uh, we'll be right back, gamers. Up. So Jax is back. Uh, he's still lying prone, but he's 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 uh. He's, uh I'll use dying. Yeah, I'll use two alive. charges. We'll be back 19. in a few minutes. He at twenty seven yeah. health. Back, Jax. See ya.
Howdy. Howdy, Howdy partner. Howdy. <laughs> Meowdy. Came back just in time to see Laura die. Yep, apparently. Just in time. Finally. Um, all Laura right. Welcome oh. back, everybody. So, like I said, this skeletal dragon fully disintegrates, leaving behind nothing but a white piece of bone looking razor sharp with a leather wrapped. You guys like uh, to do now that the combat has subsided uh there's a feeling of 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 a, huh. you feel happy that you've then you know you beat this this challenge but this looming thought in the back of your heads does kind of remain that is this is only the first step to get yeah. to right well first head. i'll just offer Jax the one greater healing potion I have on me. Do you, do you need this? Well, it, it depends. If we're going to take a rest, then I, I should be okay. Hmm. Probably. If we can take a rest, probably should. Like a um, short one? Yeah, just a short yeah. one. Just a, <laughs> a regroup? Would, yeah, I would like to, as we do that, I'll just look. Jax, Jax. Can you like, see what that is? Or like, how magical this thing is i'll start like walking towards the like uh, bang or whatever bone we said it was dropped piece of bone yeah piece of bone with a leather handle leather wrap yeah. if i activate my rod of magic <laughs> detection <laughs> is it magical yes just just your magic rod. uh what's the range on the the rod it's like 30 feet 30 feet okay. i'm like right next to it so okay okay, okay. i'm just making sure that you don't detect anything else no uh, uh, I'll stay out of his range. Don't worry. Okay. Ch Actually, uh, no, some wait, of the half dragons portal. did die oh. near enough, so you did detect more than just that. Is there, there's something magical in one of the half dragons' pockets? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, um, if the Lazarus grabbing the dagger thing, yeah, I'll put. I'll. Mm. If if you uh, what turns what magic is coming off of it, I think depends on if it and grabs it. What type of magic will be coming off of it? <laughs> you know it's gonna happen. <laughs> fucking add it on. <laughs> Just add this to your your prep, boy. Yeah, I know, I know, I should have. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do more work, DM. Yeah, yeah, DM, do more work. I would say enchantment. Oh, that's fine. That's a fine. I'll pick it up. Out of it, chance. I'll touch. I'll touch the oh card. Yeah, I I just explode and die. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this 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 yeah. Pick up this this dragon bone. It has fairly like it's razor sharp. Um, I'll keep it by the handle. Mm -hmm. Is it like a like a dagger or is it like a? Uh, this would be classed as a scimitar, like... technically. It's a scimitar. Ooh. See. Okay, I'll just. Um, I'm gonna go pickpocket the half dragon that's got something going in his pockets. Find two bottles. Uh, bottles. If inside it, uh, is a bright golden liquid. Ooh. So they're both the same liquid. Yes. I'd like to, uh, I guess, identify. Okay. Uh, for these bottles, add two bottles. Like, this is an item that I made on D&D Beyond. Yep. Add liquid respite. Two of them. Oh! Ooh. Is it long rest in a bottle? It's for dragons? For and fighting dragons? Read out to the class, as it mm. says. It's going to... Uh... Do -do. I've got to get six of these fucking things. This bottle is warm to the touch and filled with a bright golden liquid. When uncorked, the scent of a burning campfire emanates from the bottle. That's sick. Yeah. Uh, this bottle is large enough to be consumed by six people. This Long rest in a bottle. Is this like a fucking like wine bottle? No, it's still very much like a potion. You just take like a, it's a potent. You just take like a sip. Like one person, you take a sip uh... and pass it to the next person. I was gonna say, like, dude, this guy's just carrying like two wine bottles of this on him. That's fucking sick. If I if I chug this, will it kill me? But uh, keep reading, because there is a caveat that I'm yep. not sure to uh -oh. put into place. 
Um, but once open, the contents go bad very fast. So whatever remains in the bottle will perish mere minutes after breaking the seal. So as in, so, there's only five of us. We have one that was left. No, that goes bad. Goes no, fast. yeah. Once yeah. it opens, it has to be consumed or else it goes you bad. You have to use it. <laughs> got you, got you. Okay. Uh, consuming the contents of the bottle will give the drinkers the same benefits as a long rest. Consum consumption takes one minute. Oh, you Damn. cannot consume a long, it. Not even a short, a long rest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one minute thing is to make sure that you guys aren't using Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's literally just easy. we pass it around and yeah. then. For a minute. Oh, we drink it like port. pass. We drink it like port. Four that I added to it. Yes, sir. Uh, a rare brew, this liquid respite, extremely expensive to make, even more expensive to purchase. Rumor had. Sorry. Uh, rumor has it that only a handful of people still alive know the recipe for this concoction. Ooh. Once those perish, the recipe will perish with them. Oh. We're gonna find a... So oh, you're God. challenging me to remake <laughs> this, huh? You're gonna we challenge have two here. long rests in a bottle. Use them wisely. Uh, very rare. This one has got two. See, that makes me never want to use them, though. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, we're gonna have to use them like right before. <laughs> Let's be honest. Be like, God, we know he's behind this door. Everyone look at each other. Well, <laughs> Jack walks in. <laughs> we're, we're in the final boss battle. We like, we, none of us has any spell slots. We're all like one HP. Jack is like, but we might need them later. <laughs> like a video game horde. It's just like, but we might need them. Hey, yo, you don't even take a look at my Baldur's Gate 3 hordes. Okay. Oh, we don't need to look at that. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what the bottles are. Still have that oh. dragon ball. Um, and then I guess I'll identify that as well. Okay. You can add dragon ball nuclear. Whoever. I go for it last. Dragon um, bone cleaver? Cleaves dragon bone. Hang on. Oh, Dragon Bone. Well, one spelling's word. hard I... for you, we know. No, it's Dragon Bone was one word, it wasn't coming up, okay. <laughs> uh fucking requires a treatment of killing myself. Excellent. <laughs> I know. A razor sharp cleaver made from pure dragon bone. This weapon functions as a plus two scimitar. When you hit any dragon kind, the ray sharp edges of this cleaver will carve right through their scales in addition two D6 slashing damage. Ooh. On top of that, when you hit a creature of the dragon type Needs to make a DC 14 constitution, constitution saving throw. On a failure, <laughs> they're incapacitated until the end of their next turn. If they succeed the saving throw, they're immune to this effect until the start of your next turn. I mean, the little, little law. Dragons are ancient beings. They were there when this realm got created and will be here long after it perishes. Some say mm. that their close ties to the elements stems from their deep connection to the elements. Some even say they once fought on the same side. Oh. Friends mm. turned enemy. Sweet. So with that knowledge, <laughs> with that knowledge, the dragons are a friend, and we yeah. don't need to fish, fight them. Yeah, right. fish are friend, not food. I will. I just said to I was like, "Wow, shit." <laughs> I I love the idea of like you know basically you guys learning more context to what you're doing. Just based yeah. on Adam, just hell yeah. Yeah, same. I it's... really enjoy that I added that little. It's like a plain Dark Item Souls. Lore. I, it says item yeah. lore. Yeah, world <laughs> world by items. Good. The, good. The... I feel like it adds so Are much we... to the like mystery of you kind of piecing yeah. things together on your own instead of me I... as an NPC yapping, giving you everything on yeah. a silver platter. Yup. I will um just say to you, well, I could do with a short rest. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Sure, I'm not a pro. Yes. You want to be super super safe and come in my vessel? I mean, if we can, I mean, I, I should be pretty fucking there. fine, so... If we can rest in there, yes. Sure. Yay! Okay. <laughs> then we'll come here. <laughs> oh, so we'll go to guess. And... I will hesitantly go over to guess. <laughs> I also... I'm right I'm with also... Jax in the hesitance. I'm also actually hesitant to go... Guess his first I'll break. do it. You fucking cowards, okay? Inside check. Reason. You okay. don't know what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah did, it's just trying to prank us. About that, Laura, but we never really, uh. I so, like, I, you know, the thing I DM'd you about, the whole thing. Dragon's yes. Trauma body is in there. Just quick, um, like, have you made a decision? I'll quickly. So DM it to me. 
I'm uh, yeah, I'll DM you right now, real quick. Do I know what to describe? <laughs> I don't like that you're talking. I wish I didn't even know anything about that. I wish you never brought it up in front of us. Because <laughs> now my brain's not gonna let go of that. Hmm. I'm giving. I, mean, I think it's the real traitor. I'm giving I've, Laura I've... the uh, uh, like executive decision on something. It's her thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that drift. Okay. Cool. Cool. I saw going next to, as I go next to Cass, I just, you know, put my hand on the on the necklace real quick and just activate the nightweb detector whilst you're here. <laughs> this is uh, not a nightweb. Yeah, cool. cool. <laughs> this, is the real, this, this is the real Cass. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, we, we have dealt with changings and then suddenly we get near the dragons and fucking she you comes back. Dude, it's, it's just, that would be funny. Oh, yeah, I guess that I forgot to mention show. that to you, Bell, that there was like this encounter yeah. with changelings, and it's like that now that now there is the knowledge that As, the nightwebs have changelings that they can send out. Yeah, yay! Uh, so okay. there's that. So like everybody, can be everybody the enemy is kind of uh, the the new little little fuck, <laughs> you know. Especially like Aldon's been attacked. Great time to replace someone. Yeah, we're on okay. a scorched earth policy I now. I would never do that, Becca. <laughs> in the paranoia of the campaign, you won't make me mm -hmm. super paranoid and like no. a double bluff me. <laughs> about triple bluffing, you know. <laughs> All right. Thanks. So, uh, Kess, as everyone puts their hand on your shoulder or your arm or, or whatever, everyone hold hands. <laughs> transport them into your vessel. Uh, yeah. So describe your, your 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 home. What do you what what does the the gang see? It's um like a round um like spherical shape it's like a dome with a hole <laughs> at the top um which is just like white light um in the center of the room is uh, a bed hanging from the rafters um but uh it's set up more like a couch like there are pillows like all around it so you can recline also uh daigon is on that just dead with yeah the body's uh, there yeah with like a i think i gave you one of the i think i gave you the uh what is it called the ragdoll thing i want like you won for me at the carnival the first time yeah so like yeah it looks like a goblin or something mm-hmm um <laughs> and my stuff like my spear is laid down underneath like it and my ago. bag of my belongings is also yeah. there uh there is a desk on one side of the room which has uh like one of those old-fashioned sewing machines where you like turn the handle um there's like a bunch of scraps of fabric everywhere uh there's just a ball of cloth that has a bunch of needles in it um and a wardrobe that's kind of half open and overflowing with a whole bunch of like vibrant jewel like colors um and like a screen like a like a changing screen um and then uh on the other half of the desk it's just like bags of gold mm -hmm. that are just like scattered everywhere just kind of dumped and then forgotten about oh, um this is like <laughs> a couple of like gems are just kind of like over there somewhere. Um, and Lash just starts stacking them so, into like, like <laughs> inventory, piles of, inventory like, isn't a bag, it is just a room. A room, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, my stuff yeah there's like there's like a bunch of stuff everywhere. There's like cushions on the floor, like the, the meditation style that you're supposed to sit on. Um, it's all very zen, uh, but like full of like bright jewel colors mostly in shades of like green and blue yeah for mm -hmm. the majority of you oh yeah uh mechanically right because you have been gone dragon mm. is no longer because for her anchor right you were her link yeah it's the it's the meerkat plushie now it's my meerkat plushie which now that i have a body we were had brooks carrying it but now, I should be closer again, but now that I have a robo body, it's on, like, I basically have, like, a little belt, like, a small, like, fanny pack, and my meerkat's there, and I had one potion in there that's on that, <laughs> on my robot. Oh, there's also uh, a map on the wall, which is very weird looking to you guys. Uh, it looks kind of like the same shapes as, like, the material plane, but it's not the material plane. <laughs> And a bunch um, of, like, I'm gonna prestigitate the death smell. 
out of there real quick. Well, well okay. It doesn't uh, smell we'll, we'll because the that. gentle we'll, repose, we'll, we'll the gentle that. repose only just wore off you like very recently. Enter this room and uh well you will instantly get hit with the oh yeah, fuck. It's been, it's been a while. Last see dragons, like actual body. And it doesn't stink or anything because like I said, gentle repose only stops. Pops. But Daigon, you immediately feel you have this innate ability that can no longer connect with you. It tells you that you will no longer be able to connect with your body as it no longer being kept by the gentle repulses. Beginning go through stages of <clears throat> Decay. Or I could I could possess it, but I feel it'll be the kind my pervade the fallen ability where it yeah. would only last a minute and the body would like be consumed basically. Like it's now treated like a regular corpse, yeah. I'm just gonna walk over while there's this weird awkward moment. I'm gonna pick up my old spear, which also has like my trophies on it, because the spear had like a siren scale a brown ape fang, a crocodile thing, like a lot of the things we fought early game, there's trophies that are wrapped around like on some twine on the spear. I'm gonna take that back and just put it like with its strap around so my robo body can wear it. But I'm the kind of like pointedly ignoring the, <laughs> the my, my body as I do. Um, I would like to go study the map that Kaz has. Fair. Um... Wait, Kes or Bell, DM me quickly what the map is of, like what the map is of. Okay, hold so on. So I can decide whether or not Dex might have thought it. <laughs> Are you I think, I have, I, think I have an idea, but there's no. So, yeah, I figured. Nice weather. Um, Jax? Uh-huh. You have no idea. Yeah. It's a cool map. Yeah, it's cool. It's very detailed. And it's like, like I said, it has... Like, it shows features and forests. You know, grasslands, rivers, lakes, all that stuff. Um, but you... By your knowledge and your memory, none of it resembles anything you've seen on it. To believe that it's not a map of a place that you. Uh, guess. Mm. What's this a map of? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, you should. Oh, I should have done that. Um. Okay, so. <laughs> It's the Feywild. Um, ignore anything on it. Why? <sighs> because she asked nicely. Thank you, Dag. Okay, fine. Like, right. Okay, so there are like a bunch of like marks on it, like in three very prominent spots. Um. Uh, <sighs> Okay, so, like, when I left, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to figure out where my people were living anymore. So, before I left, I kind of stole a map um, and made sure to mark out where the clans live. So, uh, that's where they live. And no one but Shadow Elves is supposed to know that. I make quick mental note of exactly where all those things are. Mm -hmm. uh, um, make a make an intelligence. Do you speak? Okay. Do you speak Sylvan? Is that the right language? Fuck no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I don't know like, the names of shit, Sylvan but I can memorize like, what a map looks like. Sylvan is like mm. the Latin of El the Elvish language. Yeah. I don't know. El I don't know Elvish either. So fucking, it's <laughs> gibberish like to Sylvan me. Sylvan is like a Fey language rather yeah. than like an Elven language. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I always like to think is that like Sylvan is like the language of the Feywild and the elves that live there and the Elvish that people, the elves speak is a language that kind of like got derived from that but got mixed with other yeah. things as they moved 
to realms beyond the Feywild language kind of adjusted. Yeah, like trying to speak Latin to someone who's speaking one day Italian. Right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a 19. Uh, yeah. Just kind of like take a mental screenshot, so to say, and kind of... Yeah, you know. Good enough. While it's yeah. happening, I'll just um quietly like whisper to Kess, um, do you have like a spare, just like a spare, maybe like bed sheet or blanket you don't want to use, and I can I can just wrap that up. Cause it's gonna be real awkward to be looking at for an hour. Plus we can prep it for getting rid of later. We're kind of gonna have like not a funeral, but like a a goodbye fuck you service to get rid of it later. We were talking about it before. I like that. Um, yeah, sure. Hold on. Um, she like goes over to the desk and like rifles through like underneath it, uh, where there's a bunch of like bolts of fabric, and just pull out um, like quite a bright, well, it's like a very vibrant, like purple color. It's like deep but like shimmering this looks really pretty are you sure because we're probably gonna either like burn it or like bury it or maybe put it in a boat and then set the boat on fire i don't know we haven't talked about the details but yeah you're no. not gonna get it back no it's fine this one i don't actually use because it slips on the machine so it's kind of a pain in the ass to like actually be okay this, so. so then while people are resting i'm just gonna like take the time to like wrap up basically put the my old body in like a shroud in that and then i'll be like a lazarum not because i want to like use it but do we think i guess you probably don't have it prepared i was gonna say because we don't know how long before we'll actually get to dispose of this i was gonna say maybe we could gentle repose it one more time but i don't think you can do that right now is that prepared i'll be honest since yesterday when you said i didn't have to repair it anymore that's fair <laughs> that's you fair have repair tire. i mean again yeah. obviously it's fine sitting here i just don't want if we can't get to it right away i just i feel bad making kess's really nice like place It'd smell be... bad be fine, it's magic, right? It'd be, it'd recover. Oh, yeah, it all faintly smells of like jasmine. You know, I will. Okay. Okay. there you go. Bailey is uh gonna act as my my old body right now, the mm. body. Oh, don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I have a visual you're aid. Gonna put her, you're gonna put her on the boat, and shooting. she's just being the feline visual aid. Second's body starts purring. <laughs> Oh, double ghost! Ah. <laughs> yeah, um, I think. Short rests are shorter in this, aren't they? Either, right? This is like everyone's first time seeing. Yeah, yeah, this is the first yeah. time for everybody. So, uh, this, I mean, this is the hidey hole that, that Tess has visited every time mm -hmm. she popped into this specific vessel. Also, kind of get it now totally get it why you wouldn't tell us about this because we're yeah. all sleeping on the ground at night and you get to come in here yeah, i would exactly. have been pretty jealous i'm not gonna lie and it's pretty nice in here and if i like want it to get cozier i can like make it a little bit warmer and then if i want it to be like if i want to be wrapped in blankets i can make it a little bit colder so i can wrap up it's very nice i like so is it your, is your necklace just sitting on the ground right now in that cave yes while we're all in here if anything goes near it, we'll be able to hear it. It's fine. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Same with, like, the old... Yeah. It's kind yeah. of... It's in a space. They, you know... If somebody sees it or interacts with it, it's very much weird. Yeah. Cool. Uh, are we taking a short rest? Yes. If you want to. I will take a short rest, and I will use fucking ten hit die. I, like, I will roll Yeah, I'm going to be rolling nice. a lot. I I'm will also roll four on a tune from my rapier of warning. Okay. The first, Over to the scimitar. The first uh, one I got. Now let's see to the scimitar. To the scimitar. Shit. Mm. Very good weapon. What you're about to do. So, if he attunes to it, does he find out the curse? Uh, I'm hearing voices. I'm like, yeah. more real well as you, as you head, attune guys. to this uh, yeah. weapon or this yeah, scimitar, good. you get a deeper connection to like and kind of learn a little bit more about its heritage, so to say. This dragon bone, and with mm -hmm. that, the dragon from which it came, Rakolik, Rakolik, fought. You get the sense like ancient. This dragon was 
very old. And you kind of get this influx of <clears throat> places this thing has been. And this dragon, you can sense, has traveled the realms in its day. You can sense that it has been on the material plane, it has been on the plane of fire, it has been... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, it has been I'll plane of fire, roll. the the plane of earth. And it's even briefly been Shadowfell. This dragon made the rounds. Very well traveled round. Hmm. Which <laughs> might explain why it was being kept alive through my natural antic. Hmm. I, I'm just gonna say now as a side note, Dutch. Uh, d every day or all the time after every combat, I'm vigilant blessing is on me. Okay. Like, yeah, it, it's it's gonna be purely selfish now. It's just That's me. Fine. Yeah, we can just say I've that. Lost. Always assume vigilant blessing is up, except when you say otherwise. You say otherwise, because sure. I've lost my advantage to initiative. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I'm don't need advantage. I don't need it. It's just nice. I like going first initiative so I can get the dome up early. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's he's cheating. Not a bad, not a bad shot. Uh, okay, no cool, that's fine. Um, yeah, so you're short resting. Is there anything you guys want to talk about or discuss or, or do while you're taking a break? Uh, uh, I did use nine hit dice, just let you know, Dutch. Reading my Sorry. book. I was like, I'm not gonna broach the prophecy discussion unless Brooks does first. I'm gonna <laughs> wait and <laughs> let him do that. Um, other side of the room, just <laughs> reading a book. I, oh, I mean, oh. I'll explain to guess why I, we're not keeping the body anymore. But that basically, I just feel like this version of this body is still like reclaiming. It, it's like the things I thought I didn't like about the old one, but repurposing and reclaiming it now that I know why I was born the way I was, where I came from, and that the treatment I received for being hairless and everything was. Uh, like un unfounded and undeserved and not my fault and this is my my balancing act of not of saying goodbye to something that holds bad memories whole time but also embracing it and not completely rejecting it because I'm still technically in this like robot I'm like hairless feline in this robot just a different version and one that I chose rather than one that I felt was forced yeah so, so that's the Belle, logic for some context I did forget to bring this up during our recap talk Dragon learned why she was hairless. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, uh, when I think it was was a Grumbar that told you, right? The mm -hmm. Earthen Lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Told Dragon that uh, there were these. There's there, there's this large tribe of, of hairless Tabaxi that kind of function as like they live near their like elemental meeting point on the Prime Material Plane in Agren somewhere. Uh, and they are basically their servants. Uh, the Elemental Lords provide them with, you know, ample food, roof over their heads, blah, blah, blah. And they basically just go around and return a favor by running small errands for them and all that. Um, and it was when a large group of Tabaxi uh, basically decided we don't want this anymore and they left. That is when, when they left as kind of like a, a marker of their betrayal, I guess, so to say. Uh, or like breaking the tradition. The, the, the tradition caused them to grow hair. So basically the only reason hair haired tabaxi exist is because they derive <laughs> from this blood these bloodlines of tabaxi that decided no more. We don't want to serve you anymore. We're gonna leave. Um, okay. And Daigon uh, that, yeah, I'll Daigon will I guess explain that yeah. too in her explanation of And Daigon being hairless getting rid of body now. Even though her, like, ancestor's ancestor ancestor broke that tradition uh, due to, you know, the nature of the prophecy and, and, and the connection and, and the elemental lords is why Daigon was born without hair. Even though that she wasn't serving the elemental lords because her bloodline derived but from I that path. I was meant to. Uh, Daigon was meant to. was prophesized to. Which is why she was born without hair. Even though her entire family had hair. And yeah, clearly that 
my the group I came from, that knowledge of where we came from was lost, so people forgot that part. So instead it was like, oh, weird freak, curse, bad luck. Mm. Don't like it. <laughs> so yeah. Fair enough. Cass know anything about the prophecy? Just All I'm going to say about it when I'm explaining mm. is that, yeah, like I clearly like, was meant to uh, help the elemental like elemental beings fight against the dragons i'm not going to mention anyone else's place in it what i yet. told bell and and like what kes yeah. knows is kes knows that there is a prophecy and that your group is prophesized to fight these dragons she got the rundown from 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 blue mm. yeah like all all kes really knows is apparently you're part of this prophecy and we're supposed to fight dragons like she doesn't know the, yeah. the depths of the prophecy she just knows I... that there is one she don't know we got a traitor in our midst well, sort of like, do I do I notice that there is a hesitancy between, like Brooks and Daigon to not say anything to Kess? I'm quite literally on the other side of the room, avoiding everyone with a book. Like you're, <laughs> yeah, you're doing Brooks things. So yes. To be fair, he's just problem. doing that because what did I call the book again? Back, and now they have to have the awkward conversation. It's not because of the prophecy at what all. I, what did I call the book? The book again? Oh, um... I forgot. It's about, that's all I know. It was, it was like something, something. Notes. It was about a dwarf. A dwarf. A dwarven... dwarf, yeah. There's one with the dwarf. I'm pretty sure it's a lusty notes, dwarf. So let me just check. Was it dwarven romance no. or some shit like that? No. Yeah. Just the lusty no. dwarf. Oh, that's the lusty. Uh, dwarving my heart. Dwarving my heart. Oh. That's what it was. I'm reading a book <laughs> called Dwarving My Heart. So he's reading smut in your bedroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take that as you will. Take that as you will. Okay, I'll just talk. No, I will sort of see that there is a a air yeah. and just sort of go hey. so yeah we saw a lot of this prophecy um don't know how you view them destiny has its weird wraps around us all it seems and we all have our place I'm kind of on the fence like on the one hand I think Foreseeing events can be a thing. But I don't think that they're set in stone. No, they're literally not. We saw it like carved change. into a wall and then we saw it change. So it change just because it's prophesized place. doesn't mean it's it's fixed. It's like, hey, this is what we think's gonna happen, but there's a chance you can change it. You saw it in stone? We Yeah, we went to go we... talk to Earth Guy. Yes. Um... Grumba. Turns out my family for basically forever. Uh, direct descendants of the champion of Grunbar, and he picks his champions from that bloodline, so... And he has to find ones that are strong enough, that's why my grandfather and father have gone. He's say... apparently a misogynist, because he only picks men. Only picks males as well, so I mean, that's kind of fucked, I'll be honest, but no, you know. You don't, we don't know that. Uh, all the ones we've been told he, he didn't, chose all, 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 yeah, all you didn't dive into the archives of like what Vinor Dunbar's <laughs> have been you know okay you know okay that. well also <laughs> Vinor Dunbar didn't we think it's just the Dunbar it's canon it's now so uh, can't change it whatever bro that's canon yeah, the, the, Julius Vinor Dunbar yeah the Vinor's his mother's last name it's a double barreled with his father <laughs> put a double barrel to your head in a second hey oh <laughs> I will Wait, me first me first yeah I'll hear me for you yeah I will um it was like, well, Jax has a connection to the water uh, elemental lord, but was seen in sort of his place, but not, you know, there. Hmm. The water know... one's dipped anyway. Yeah, so... the water one's dipped. We know Davian obviously has Korsuth's, uh Which I really hope he's okay. I mean, yeah, I feel like same. we should be more concerned, but there's also nothing <laughs> we can literally do. I mean, it's yeah, very nothing... confusing. Um, the main <laughs> thing we are trying to avoid, Kess, and you'll probably come handy with this. I think mm -hmm. is uh, Brooks's old connection is to that of dragons. Mm. But he is prophesied to be some sort of leader for Tiamat, but we will change this. And it's an actual book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like I like to think for a second he like he looks up but like not not because of saying thing but because like he's distracted by something else. He's like, what was that? Okay. Doesn't actually have a smut. Right? Um yeah. And I would just sort of say like <laughs> that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to understand what the main connection is. Hmm. Um 
Okay. Honestly, I... I'm not that worried about it, but everyone else seems to be quite Last worried room. about it. Hello. You're a religious man. I'm a very religious man, yes. We went to, uh, you know, the, the, the classes for hells for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know about tieflings. You know that there's yeah. their, their skin tone kind of showcases yeah. what their heritage is. Make a religion check. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking hell, that went miles. Should have kept the fucked roll, because that was really high. This one's still decent, it's just not, like, ridiculous. That's a big old 12. 12? Yep. Uh... 20, before it was punk. <laughs> we'll say that one thing clicks for you. Knowing that Brooks is a tiefling. Knowing how... Little he resembles one. Like, sure, he's told you before that, like, filing the horns down mm. and all that. That's something he purposely does. But even his skin tone mm. doesn't look very Hells-esque. Um, but you then you think about, like, Brooks's skill set. Trickery. Bastard, deceit. Man. And that does ring a bell. Glacia. Also known as Hell's criminal mastermind. Grants her tieflings magic that is used... For committing heist. That is a connection that you could make. That Brooks might be a, a Glacia descendant. I will just say, well... As far as, like, what Glacia does in her yeah. relations, that yeah. role was too low to determine that. You just, you just know that, like, eh, this yeah. could be... Well, we, we know, like, rough connections of the Hells, and, like, you know, he's a Tiefling and Tiamat, the Tieflings are derived from that, and Tiamat is in the Hells. But apart from that, like, that's the biggest connection that we have. Um, but it's still his part to play and his part to. And you need to adjust the course or see where we need to adjust for if these prophecies uh, are as. Finite, or at least finalized, as they are. everyone else seems to think they are. But we have seen them change before, and they can change again, and they can change numerous times. Yeah. But I think <clears throat> the, if we stay the course we're currently on, it doesn't look good, but we don't know what. I mean, like, if I had stayed dead, then the whole prophecy would have been fucked up anyway. So, like, you know, like, shit happens. Anybody, you say that, and then suddenly dead. you're like, everything starts to creep in. Now you're like, is that the reason why? Uh. <laughs> like, you start, every, basically you begin to question everything that has happened to everyone so far I just we're kiss, uh, you're going to hate this but we're cards on the table here mm. we can't keep secrets to each other anymore mm. we I'm not saying everything about you all the time but if new information comes up that's imperative to this we can't keep it from each other we you can open. keep some secrets. Like, if, your secret, even... if your secret's like, if you hate ice cream, well, that's messed yeah. up, because ice cream's delicious, but you can keep that secret yeah, because I'll judge you. We don't need to, like, know everything about life that's not personal, but if you find out or know information about dragons and elementals that it's helpful for this fight, we're laying everything on the table. We're not. We're making sure we're open. Me included. Okay, so I didn't find out one thing. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Well, well, I went back, well, I went with um, my dad and Blue to uh, the elemental plane of air, obviously, because uh, uh, dad's getting real sick, um, and uh, it's not looking good, but we found out that there is a flower that we thought was extinct, which was why that just thought he was gonna die but turns out there's one left there's one. it's on a mountain in the elemental plane of air which just so happens to be where the big white dragon is of course i feel like we knew this slightly i mean honestly at this point that's just convenient because we're going there anyway so i'm not even that's mad about too it too convenient it's funny that. Do you think this grand prophecy has poisoned Kessa's father? 
to the point where like to make to make us go attack the dragons. <laughs> what if something's trying to make us and like the elementals and the dragons fight? Maybe there's a third party. Well, technically there is. But, there is. Fate. Well, we don't like we did know was a like fighting with the dragons, but we don't fucking know really what their end goal is, <laughs> other than like dragons. But they could they could turn coat again and just be like, we're gonna be our own thing now. Or some other person's gonna be like, hey, fuck this. Shit. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of evil beings out there that would want to be involved in something like this. There is conflict. There is. Does anyone else How concerned? Some exist? weird thing has happened now, where it's like they're lim they're they're like limiting us to five people. Like we got Kes back, but then then someone else, Davian will come back, but then someone else is gonna disappear. Like, what I'm saying is, it like us coming to the Elemental Lords? Am I gonna if Davian comes back? Is it my turn? Do I go away? Do I have a special like council meeting or something? Shit. Is you available? Um, to yeah, maybe. He's, maybe he's back in the fire plane. Did he get fucking that... Elemental jury duty? <laughs> yeah. I hate when that happens. It's, it's always a week you're busy as well. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we need to be there. But you know, a form and submit in so and... much of the prophecy, like yeah. Hebrox. If book. <laughs> if you are a sound mind and stay a sound mind. Uh, will you betray us and uh, go fight on the dragon side? Okay, Where but it's hesitating. It's a bad look. From? What? It's a simple question. No, I'm not planning to betray you, fucking morons. There you it's go. A check. So if it <laughs> happens, it's <a> crazy. <laughs> And, I, uh, then it's not his fault. Uh, deception. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, in sign language, sign to Kess, maybe careful with the word crazy. He kind of had a bit of like a breakdown while you were gone. Do I recognize any of that? I can tell you, I can check my. No, I don't. You might got he. Was he in sign language? Uh, <laughs> yeah. 11. Do I have to roll, by the way? Can I choose? Let's be fine. Uh, or as you can tell. You. All right. No reason for you to doubt me. There we go. Problem solved. Like I, I mean, said, I think that, that the way crazy. the prophecy is going right now, I think it's planning for like something really catastrophic to happen that would force Brooks to make that choice. So as long as we don't, as we make sure that doesn't happen, then he won't have don't to make that choice, ask, and it's fine. Or we don't run out of alcohol. And a Lazarin doesn't sneak off again. And Ooh. also doesn't realize that I've replaced all of his gold with painted wooden coins. Imagine. Then we're fine. Like, a Lazarin gives you this look of, like, haha, very funny. But as you're saying that, he does it. He does it. So, like, Brooks, you're so fucking stupid. That's means ridiculous that you do something like that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> or, or like, or, or no, it's, like it's, it's, it's like jiggle jiggle. Yeah, that's gold sounds. Jingle jiggle. So like, check check one or two. Yeah, they're still shiny. That uh, it's actually electron pieces painted gold. Fuck! <laughs> I'm actually worse than them being wood. These wood has more <laughs> intrinsic value. <laughs> electrum, you've got to hold on to your electrum. It's going to the moon, baby. <laughs> it's going up. It's going hey, once that blockchain gets going, man. It's going up. Stop. The ball is going up. The we are the ball. crypto of our fucking. Yeah, anyway, anywho, uh, um, that away. So while you were gone for three weeks, were you like looking for this flower the whole time, or were you just like trying to spend time with your dad because you thought you might not have much left? I have a, a both situation. Both. Yeah. So that's how you figure out it's on this. It's a oh, mountain. It, yeah. Yeah. It's Question like a, about that. Uh huh. So your grandfather is like this big bad er, er, uh, elemental guy, right? I take issue with bad, but yes. <laughs> well, I just mean like, oh, he'll, he's like badass. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. that, yes. Uh, badass so why can't he just kill the dragon and get the flower? <sighs> DM. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do the math. One soul... These dragons survived the war for a reason, man. 
They fought armies of fucking elementals and survived. Yeah, and but if he can't beat him, then again. how can we beat him? You know what I'm saying, dog? Because magic and prophecies. So, like, where there is war, there is tactics and mm. ideas and strategies. Clearly, what they've tried before wasn't enough to take this guy out. So. And we're cannon fodder. Basically. So, <laughs> Oh, I mean, it goes back to what I've been saying for ages. You know, why doesn't the Empress fucking... I know she's sending armies with, with five people. Oh, as soon as now, we set off, but... the prophecy changed to a different group of people. Yeah. It's, it's actually just a mirror. <laughs> it just... It, it still lines up as best it can. They've just got... Not. They've got groups going in. I could That's have funny. the NPCs solve the problem for you, but do you want to play D&D? &D? Or, like, what is this? <laughs> yes, but all we want to do is okay. shop, beach, uh, and uh, that's, I know you see oh. Game of Dungeons and Dragons, my character doesn't. Oh, yeah, right, Ethan. My bad, man. <laughs> yeah, fucking... <laughs> no, Dutch, I want... Next campaign, Dutch, I'm realistic. I want to be working a fucking 9 to 5 job on an RP. I want to fucking have to pay taxes, never move out. Fucking... Be fucking careful what you wish for. Yeah, fucker. this is my life. I just want to live my life <laughs> within a fantasy world. I go to a shitty shop. I fucking work there all day and I come home. And I fucking go to bed. Dude, can we actually just RP being like fucking <laughs> workers at a Walmart, man? <laughs> That's you roll next one. Your cozy yeah. fantasy the IRS are coming. <laughs> no, it's not cozy. It's very realistic. We're like, we can't afford a house. We can't afford to live. <laughs> we can't afford to live. so fucking good. Hey, I didn't say anything. I'm playing very realistic. Well, has to roll for her Guilty by association. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even been here. <laughs> You're here now. I'm barely. Yet. Oh fuck. Okay. Shut okay. up for the crime. Anyway. So. So. Guys, finish a short rest. So, a little, a, little, a little, a little better. A little, a bit of letter. Wounds have healed. Found some. Able to breathe. I'm mistaken. Yeah, we'll get to. Um, Kiss. Yes. You don't know what's on the other side of this portal, do you? Do I? History check. Oh, I'm good at history checks. That one. Where's my fucking skills? Just go. It just actually. It exist. Portal, it's not a portal at all. It just it goes to like a. It's like a waterfall. It's just like. Oh. <laughs> actually, just goes back to Eldolon. History. Okay. Uh, eighteen. You've had talks with uh, Dad, dear old Dad, um, and he, you know. It got brought up before the Cataclysm. That was where your father made Sai a Ganassi to save his life. So, you've had chats with uh, with your father, with, with, with fucking Grandpa Blue as well, about uh, the Cataclysm and how it kind of functions as this, this anchor of elemental air energy. And you know that... There is a gateway. There's this white portal you assume that you now saw in this room. That will take you not to the immense plane of air just yet, but to a realm between realms. A realm where both forces and you know, nature from the material plane and the immense plane of air have mixed. They function as kind of this bridge. So this this small realm functions as a bit as, as a kind of like a bridge between the elemental plane of air and our material. Assume that that is where that portal to that bridge realm between realms. Um, right. So from what I understand from you know my dad and grandpa is that uh. You know, on the beach, there's like dry sand, and then there's like wet sand, and then there's the water. Yes. That's like that's uh -huh. like the 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 wet sand of uh plains. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I miss Bell so much. <laughs> You're doing a really <laughs> poor job of explaining this. I hope you know. That. <laughs> so, what do you mean? That makes perfect sense. Thank you. That makes no sense to me. So it's way. not quite. It's like the in between well, space between yeah. two other things. Exactly. You gotta Some go through that, that way to get the. 
shut up. Like, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so it, it's a mush. Yeah. So we're going to a mush realm. <laughs> yeah. Over, it's like the. It sounds like we're just going to the elemental plane of Earth. No. But like bushy. No, no. Is there an elemental no, plane uh... of plant? Has it Earth, surely. Is every That's I don't what know, I'm I've saying. not been. There's a big beach in the plane of air as well. Huh? I mean, the plane of air can't oh just God. be air, because it's not like there's still, you know, land masses and everything. Everyone everything can fly there. But yeah, yeah see, there's just a lot more. I go went. My dad you has guys went to the right? of fire and you walked cobblestone stone streets. Yeah. Like, you know, like, well, yeah, because they like contain the, the fire. Brass, but, like, just metal, only fire all the time. Metal like, is not air... something that originates purely from fire, right? Like there's other elements. So in the we're going to suffocate? We know what you're saying, Dutch, but yeah, our yeah. characters are stupid. I just look at Cass. I'm there, so I'm like, do you see what I put up with? Mine's smart, time? just played by dumb. I'm so sorry. I, yeah. I would say I've missed your insanity, but <laughs> Dear Lord, <laughs> it was, um... That makes complete sense. That's not insane. I don't know what your problem is. I didn't. I never said I had a problem. Mm -mm, you're implying it. Your face says you have a problem. You can't even look at me. Look at that. <laughs> like, I give Cass... There's nothing up there. It's just light. Just deepest eye roll inside. Just... <sighs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I miss when you were my biggest problem, Cass. <laughs> Anyways, we do also have to... Be prepared, because there were literally people like running out, like like elemental soldiers looking terrified, running out. So there's likely shit going on on the other side of that portal. It's not just going to be chill. Yeah. It, it like people weren't chill when I was like back there. People seemed a little bit stressed. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy, you, um, you know, having fun. <laughs> Nuts. Anyway. You were too busy having fun. Not. Oh my god. By the way, oh. I forgot because you were sure. We we did kill Strahd, FYI, because you know. Oh good. I uh, I thought you you had. I figured, but just just confirming in case. Just putting it out. There. Brooks's his brother did his die. His brother's though. fine. No, shut up. He's fine. Okay. Brooks isn't. Do I catch that? I'm <laughs> saying it very quietly. I'm like, Brooks isn't. Roll well, a perception. Then the, then the answer's no. <laughs> Do I hear I that? Know. My passive perception is stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah your passive perception is good. like omega high, right? Yeah. Your Mine's passive perception is like my passive wisdom. So yeah. yeah. Mine's 12. Yeah, no, you don't. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no. Eorin's fine. Good. Not a vampire? No. No. Excellent. Uh, what else did you miss? Uh, we we had a house. We don't know if it's still standing, but yeah, Eldalon. What started this whole dragon situation? Um, El Eldalon was attacked by the dragons. We're now hunting down two of them specifically. Yeah. So Eldalon got fucked up a little bit. Yeah, Blue we, told me that. Dutch, do we only get five uh, scry uh, scry stoppers? You did only get five scry stoppers. I just like had this thing on my. Straight away, I'm ch I'll check if the anything has changed on the, on the gems. Oh. Of the, two have gone. And I'll just look at the. Any gone from the rest of us? Yeah, I'll, I'm looking at like any. Uh, check out yeah, by proxy, like because it's it's like a range thing, right. and you haven't really spread apart very far. There's two of them gone yeah. on all of the circles. Okay. Oh shit, oh, Kess doesn't, doesn't have one. one. Yes, so Kess I guess someone one. just needs to stay very close to Kess so that she doesn't yeah. scry on. So, <laughs> well, they may not scry on her anyways because they don't know we, she's with us again. Yeah, we found out the night webs were like magically eavesdropping and that's how they kept finding out where we were and shit. So we all have like anti-scrying magic things now, except for you. So don't, if when you're, if you're far away from us, you can be scryed on by them, maybe. And uh, fun fact, not fun, actually, because part of it, how we found out, is one of them died. But, uh, Primus style Ashtari, two people. Not one person. Twins. Well, one person now. Yeah, now, now one person. There's, there's twin, sis, like, siblings, and they were, like, masquerading as each other, so everyone thought the Primus was one person, but there was, like, two of them being the Primus. It's wild. I respect that. How, how do you own a house? 
Like, how do you own the, the I'm land? not getting into this with you. I'll be honest, oh, Kess. I'm not getting into it. This is not the time. So, Kess, like, when we take this money... How do I leave this place? How do I leave? How do I leave? How do I leave? How do I leave? And we Kess, give it to them. Kess, how do I leave? Kess? Kess? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can just will yourself out. No. I'm never letting out? you out. You're like can my I little get... people in my little bottle, and now you're never. I'm actually let myself out. Or go, can I? <laughs> I need to know. Mel, I need to know the Trapped answer. in her dollhouse <laughs> forever. Am I, am I Anyways, not allowed to will myself out. <laughs> no, you're not. Like 100, percent we are not. Can we? Are Kes has to bring us in and bring us out. <laughs> Right. Yeah. That's fucked. I understand. When the dragons attacked Eldalon, most of the people that I guess we, you know, n know well got out. Like, Celestia's fine. Blackpaw's fine. Yor and his brother's fine. Um, General Kron is missing. Probably taken by the Nightwebs, but it not Most likely sure. dead. But, or, or that. Um, oh, Father, Father Ackle didn't make it. That's, no. that's, a bit of a, that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, he was so much fun. Yeah. Man. That's, that's not the that's reason why we're oh, speaking of. Yeah. Speaking of. Uh huh. Dragon. <laughs> Duh. When like you it. went over to grab your spear, did you go through your belongings at all? Bag? I, I mean, picked up the spear before we left. I was going to the okay, first okay. thing I do is pick up the spear. No, Maybe wait. after I finished wrapping the body, I would then go because now that I realized, oh shit, I can carry my stuff again. So I would have, yeah, picked and, it up and uh, checked. Kess, say that you notice there's something on your desk that looks well, that's not weird at all. I'm oh. gonna go over to that. There is a small journal, and when you open it, it's it's like it's a very thin journal. And all these pages, they just seem they seem they're almost like grocery lists. Like as much as like shopping, random shopping lists. And as you keep going and keep going, on one page there's the Crimson Lotus logo that just says you made it out. Terrifying. Um, yeah, that's not terrifying at all. <laughs> uh, Brooks. Like, when you go through your bags and stuff, right? Like, you kind of look... Like, when's the last time you've really gone through your bag? To, like, really? How much through it, right? Yeah. But look for how many small books I had. Uh, I guess. I, yeah, so I guess <laughs> I'll say that you would have found... You would have, at some point, when going through your no, bag, I'll the last 12 yeah. hours, would have also found that same note. Okay. Okay, you all want to know. Uh, you want to get moving? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, Brooks, I can have my journal, or not Brooks, Jax, Jax with the bag of holding and my things in it. I can, I can take my journal back now because I can, I can have stuff again. Oakley, Doakley, hand you your stuff back. And should I just put the meerkat in my own stuff so then I can go wherever I want? Like, Kess, you get privacy again. How nice is that? Oh. <laughs> it didn't really impact me that much, to be honest. Like, well, now you do. Yeah. And I also, as I, as I say that to her, I also kind of, like, do a really not trying to hide it at all, like, suggestive look at Brooks, too, when I mention that Kess has privacy back. <laughs> okay. I everyone, away. Everyone, <laughs> gather around in a circle and hold hands again. And then... <laughs> Instead of ejecting everyone, I'm gonna eject everyone except for me and Brooks. Oh, that's no! fucked. Let's go. Actually, does that? And I see. I I just like I look at a last round and Jackson and I just go, oh yay, and I just like I, I, mean, I look very okay. excited. Would this be like you want the rest to deafen for this kind of situation, as well? Or? Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's fine unless Brooks has anything to say to Cass that he wants everyone else to death him for. Brooks is avoiding everything. Okay. Well, you just, you know, stood in a circle and then everyone disappeared but you and Cass. <laughs> uh, and uh, before you can, like, 
really register sort of that that happened. Uh, Kaz is already like hugging you, like she's got her arms wrapped up around your neck. Um, <laughs> and she's just like, um, I'm sorry I had to leave. Uh, I know you kind of really needed everyone. It's we've been okay. Mm. You had shit to do. Mm. Yeah. You doing all right? Yeah, I mean, very stress for the past. Everything's few weeks. fucked. <laughs> that everyone was dead. Um. Yeah. It wasn't it? Wasn't it great? But hey, I guess we we know where to get the thing for your dad. Yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, I don't know if the house is still standing, but I mean, I never it. really saw it, so I'm not really that attached. I put a I little bit of work into it, so. Oh really? Oh no. <laughs> that's sad for you. That... <laughs> Put a little bit of work into your room as well, but you know. No, really? Oh. Well, it'll either still be there or it won't. So fuck it, you know. Oh. I. It's been weird. Everything's shit. Uh. I might be the problem. Nah, I don't think so. It's not been great. Yeah. But we'll fucking figure it out, I guess, and We had the dike is a robot now. I mean she's not, she's still a ghost. Yeah. She but just like, instead of I walking around a in a in a corpse is walking around in a robot. Like I hugged her and her like all the metal was cold and I was like, oh, like, Is that better or worse than hugging a corpse? I mean, they're both cold. So what's it really matter if she's comfortable in it? No, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I'm just like <laughs> it's weird. Like, I've had friends who are made out of just rock. Metal is new, and I like new things. So, I wonder if you could warm her up in advance. Just set her in front of a fire. I mean, you can. It's called heat metal spell. Mm -hmm. Just sit her in the middle of the room and radiate heat out. Keep everyone else warm like storage heater. <laughs> Just a little warning next time would be nice. Yeah, I don't think it'll happen again. Okay, we can go now. Oh, also the holding hands and standing in a circle, that was just bullshit. I, just I <laughs> figured as much. Uh, they only need to be in like 30 feet of me and I can just do it. Uh, Mid-conversation, I will kiss her on the forehead. Oh, Cute. Right. Now get us out, Jesus Christ, they're gonna think we're dead. No, that that's not what I'm thinking. And I'll like, appear. We or you? <laughs> <laughs> No, it just leaves not. Brooks in there yeah. forever. Just leaves you in there. Don't think you, well, can, if I don't don't think you can be there without Kes oh, presence. You can't. Like if I leave, everyone leaves. Yeah, you uh reappear. And if I want to go in there, you can just get lost. Chamber in the cavern. Um, still kind of like feeling floaty and levitating a little bit. But, uh, half dragons are still dead. Through the portal. No one has entered this room. It's still empty. Through the portal? Yeah. You're the wet sand. I guess we're fucking. Sand. Yeah. We sand. Away. Okay. Right. As you step through this portal, you appear in a very alien looking place, a realm between realms. You can see the influence of both the elemental plane of air as well as the material plane present in this realm. <clears throat> the portal spits you out at the edge of a mountain and a path down leading down below to the ruins of a village. Perched on a precariously, uh, like precariously perched on the edge of a rugged cliff. Sorry, reading is hard. Uh, the remnants of a once thriving village lay in ruins, bearing the brutal scars of a recent rampage 
by a fearsome blue dragon. The village, now reduced to dilapidated structures and charred remains, exudes an air of desolation against the backdrop of an imposing mountain that looms in the distance. The cliffside village was once a picturesque settlement with quaint cottages and narrow cobblestone streets. Now, however, the landscape tells a tragic tale. Wooden structures lie shattered, their skeletal frames jutting out amidst the debris. Horn banners, once proudly displayed, now flutter in tatters, bearing silent witness to the destruction that unfolded. Above the ruins, the skies seem to crackle with the lingering remnants of the blue dragon's fury. The air is electrified, and, a sparkle of, and sparks of blue lightning dance sporadically among the ruins. A haunting testament to the unleashed power that wreaked havoc upon the village. The scent of burnt wood and singed earth lingers, carried by a breeze that seems to whisper tales of village demise. In the distance, the massive silhouette of an imposing mountain casts its shadow over the devastation. Its craggy peaks are cloaked in mist, creating an imposing backdrop to the destruction below. The mountain seems to stand as a silent witness, unmoved by the tragedy, tragedy that unfolded at its feet. And you... very faintly... when looking towards the mountain, see a larger-than-life winged shadow behind Ooh. the cloud. Don't like it. Uh, how far away does the mountain seem to be? Just from pure, like, you know, guesstimating. Uh, yeah. An hour or two from, <laughs> from the village. It's not bad. Well, looks like we know our destination. Mm. So. I'm guessing just because this is the way our luck works, that's the same mountain that has the flower that the dragon's chilling in, or no, different no, 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 that's <laughs> different plane. Different. That's, yeah. Right, because we're in the Different in plane, different dragon. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're in, in the, the wet, wet sand. sand. Dragon's yeah. in the water. Got you. This is mm -hmm. a blue dragon. It's a white dragon that has that. We'll say yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but it would be nice. God, you that would get there eventually. Smart. Any dragon's a blue <laughs> dragon that I'll paint. <clears throat> I don't think you can... Yeah, so there's this path that kind of leads down the mountain that you're standing on. Uh, and you can see, well, there's no, as far as you can tell, no draconic presence in this village anymore. What you do see is just, like for instance, the corpse of the Erganasi that tried to escape and got chucked back into the portal now lies kind of crushed against a rock wall at the opposite end of the portal. You can see like down the path leading into the village, that blood splatters body parts, and there's death everywhere. As we, like, walk through this area, mm -hmm. um, I'll just be, like, muttering prayers under, like, my breath of just, like, hoping that their souls go to whatever better places that they are meant to go. They'll mainly be, like, if I assume it'd probably be some sort of, like, battlement type prayer or some sort of like warrior type um like war sort of burial basically would be that type of almost like when master says we're marching and probably in time with like as we walk as well um Cass your fucking passive perception is crazy right it is it is uh let me find it mine's also 20 uh, 24 yeah, there you go. Yeah, mine's yeah. 20. There's a 20? Okay, so, Elazarin, you'll see this as well. As you're walking, kind of, like, walking down the path that leads to the other side of this village, <clears throat> like, all the structures around you, destroyed, dilapidated. There are a couple of structures that still, like, are still somewhat being kept up by the, by the like, framework. Uh, but there are holes in the walls and, and whatnot. And, and through one of these holes, you see a dim flutter of light. Almost like, like fire, like torchlight. I'm gonna like start heading towards it quietly. Make a perception check. <coughs> mm, keeping up with Kess because she doesn't Same. have a spare clip. Oh, that is cut. Okay. Uh, is. Uh, 26. 6? Yeah. You hear noises coming from the inside of this building. Ooh. Slow movement. Occasional cough. 
There's some. There's somebody. Someone. Go to side of his wall. I'm gonna sign to Daigon. <laughs> um. I think there may be survivors in here. Does it like it just sounds like like people just sheltering? Sounds like one individual, and it just—I uh -huh. mean, all you hear is just this this, this faint, moving, uh, coughing, and the moving. Like it's not very fast. It seems very strained. Okay, I'm I'm gonna keep heading towards it. The same. Uh, like a little, little less, like tentatively. Yeah, and I'll be trying to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I mean, what would you do? Uh, I want to kind of like try and look in without, like, showing myself. Just like, just like glance. Make a make a stealth check. Okay. And I have a plus four to those. <laughs> well, plus D four. Um, okay, cool. Stealth. Um, 19. Okay. When you kind of peek through one of the holes in the wall, you see Ganassi. Air Ganassi. What you see is man. His once flowing, translucent azure hair now clung to his forehead. Uh, matted with sweat and streaked with smudges of ash and dirt. The vibrant blue skin, which normally held this ethereal glow, similar to yours, uh, bears numerous lacerations and bruises, contrasting sharply with the usual air of vitality. Tattered remnants of once elegant billowing robes hung loosely from his frame, revealing deep gashes across his torso. The fabric adorned with patterns reminiscent of swirling winds now fluttered listlessly uh, with every labored movement. His cerulean eyes, usually sharp and focused, now reflect a mixture of exhaustion and determination. Okay, I'm gonna like step into. Like, I'm gonna like step into sight so that he can see me. He kind of. So like. Doesn't jump, but he does kind of like flinch. Are you? You here? Followed? Coming back? No, no, they're not coming back. We got rid of them. Get in. Streets. Okay. I'm gonna scurry in. Uh, I'm also gonna call for a Lazarin. I will. So I'm yeah, following I'm... you inside. Are you? Are you okay? You look really hot. No, but given that, as I can tell, I'm the only survivor of the assaults. I'm all right. To my I will fellows, assess his wounds. Can I just do a medicine check just to see, like, he's on death's door. Oh, excellent! I will <laughs> ask. They're the dying. I mean, well, he's on death. He's 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 not unconscious, so, so I don't know. Oh, you yeah. can't. Oh, right. I don't know how that spell works. He's still got a hit point. Better dying so. Okay. so that if you're unconscious, you no longer you're not doing so you're death stable. saves. Yeah, you're, you're stable, but you will remain I unconscious will... for like a few hours. I will give um Woof. Bark bark. Yeah. Used with the item that Jack's gave me, I will use uh another two uh spells to cast cure wounds at a second level. Uh fucking Jesus Christ, that was so shit. <laughs> uh, like, I mean he 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 heals a ten. I'm also um, going to cast uh, Prestidigitation to get all the ash um, and stuff. Can I start looking to see if there's any sort of, like, just cloths and stuff? So any wounds that, like, aren't, like, closed by my healing, I can just try and, like... Uh, some like of the minor or, like, wounds things. have disappeared. Um, yeah. And he just kind of, like... But he's still... They're still visible wounds. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he is the sole survivor of a dragon attack, is what it seems right now. Yeah. But... I'm yeah. just trying to like patch him up yeah. just as he much as I can with whatever's looks about. Looks at you and just sits himself down on the ground. I'll offer you a seat, but uh... not many. Pull out my camping chair. We're not oh, here. To why are you? Here? Why are you here? That's why a... we're here? I think it's obvious. Yeah. 
We're going moment. after the dragon. Hello, we're stupid and have a death wish. Mm. He looks at you. And something kind of like clicks. I mean, I'm assuming Kess speaks mm. fucking... The whole version of primordial, that, primordial, the, like air elemental, specific air primordial, primordial. Uh, thing. Primordial. What's it called? called. Um, what language do you speak, Kess? Uh, Aquan's the water one. So funny if Kess doesn't speak it. <laughs> she might not. No, common elvish thieves can't sell them. Right, never mind. He says something that none of you understand. Uh, you do recognize it though, Kess, because you've heard, like you've heard, uh, Lou and, and your dad speak this language. To you. Um, okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, I don't know, I don't know that language. Uh, I come from a broken home. <laughs> it's very complicated. I just, all I said was prophecy. Ah, yes. You yeah, that does. seem to match the description and that you're here. Assumption. You would be correct. Um. My name is Breeze. Nice to meet you all. I Cass. wish it was under better circumstances. This village yeah. was once known as the Floating Bastion. A place where servants of the Plane of Air lived in harmony with people of the Material Plane. Serving a joint purpose. Check the gateway into the Plane of Air. Rests in Wind's Perch, the mountain. Mm. We failed. The gateway inside the mountain looming over this village. The defenses broke. The blue dragon and his armies taken it over. They found their way into the plane. Fought for weeks. Of many a dragon is in the mouth. We're gonna we're gonna get him, so he'll be fine. We'll make sure nothing awful happens. More awful. Mm. Since you're headed there and I'm in no position to help you Excuse me. Mm hmm. They took some of us prisoner. They needed oh. them to open the gateway. There's three of us knew how to control the gate. Actively become passage into the plane of air. They took all three. Two men, one woman. That woman my daughter. Flourish. No, she's probably dead. But could, while you're there, look for her. Even if she's dead. She was the only woman taken. Assume that if you find a female court. I just want to know. Oh. Your fate. If you do me that favor, I would be very grateful. Yeah, of course. Right. I um, wish I could be more help to you, but... You've done plenty. What you can do now is survive. Always here, assuming... Assuming they won't, since they've made their way to the gateway. Mm. I'll remain here. Find me. Survive. <laughs> we will. He just I'm kind of do one last like check over on him. His vision um, fades, like kind of like fades away from you, and he's just kind of like doing this like stare to nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll just try and make sure. Like, Would it be irresponsible of me to give him a drink? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't you... know how else to comfort someone. Some people you can't I comfort. Just... For... I think we should just go. Yeah. We also, gotta... like, fuss over his wounds again, just like a little, As you like, do, just make sure everything's uh, fine and like, like, make sure the main. He seems ones okay are... enough to to not bleed out. Yeah. That, it, that's the main thing, it's like, cool, he's not fucking, like, going to bleed out, and, like, if he moves, it's not gonna, like, reopen up any wounds or some shit like that. It's the very much, like, cool, he's good. Yeah, <laughs> he still looks, like, to put it into, like, oh, gameplay like shit, terms, he like... still looks heavily bloodied, but he is no longer on that storm, yeah. essentially. What's the, what's the climate like here? I know it's a very um, weird question. Yeah, humid. no, no, it's, it, there's, obviously now with, you know, the sky being full of these big clouds crackling with lightning... Um, the wind is very erratic. It, it is. It is pretty cold. It's pretty chilly because of like the lot, the, the the big gusts of wind constantly blowing around. Other than that, um, yeah. I mean, it feels it feels quite humid. It's not. It's not very warm. But you don't know whether that is because that is just always kind of the temperature here, or that's because of you know where there's dragons, they kind of alter the land around them storm cloud this uh, could be the reason why the humidity has gone up and the temperature has gone down so you're not sure if this is normal here but right now it's it's cold it's humid uh there's these large storm clouds kind of blocking any semblance of what could potentially be a sun when you say cold like like comfortably cold nah we're talking like we're talking like um not winter cold but like you know Fucking a cold, a cold, a cold fall day. You know what I mean? We don't need to worry about leaving this man here in the cold. With no, like the main source nothing. of the cold is the wind, and even though there are a bunch of holes in this building, like a majority of the structure does kind of, sort of form a bit of a barrier against it. It's it's chilly, but it's not like it's not gonna freeze to death. Okay. Cool. It is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can make shitty jokes too. Yeah, yeah but you're the DM, so <laughs> you're supposed to be better than that. All right, my bad. <laughs> you're yeah. supposed to set an example. Oh, just seem to have found the only survivor, floating bastion. With that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you're headed to the first of five dragon lairs, you're going to be headed to the lair of oh, yeah. Deathjaw, the ancient blue dragon. We'll uh, leave it here. And pick us up next time. Hey. Oh, yeah. All of you. Oh, while we're walking, one more thing for Anna. Oh, I can't believe somehow this wasn't the first thing we Kes, we met the Empress. <laughs> yeah. Would it have been really bad if I tried to steal from her? Like, were you yes. God, Jesus, yes. Oh. <laughs> Even I didn't try and steal from her. <clears throat> well, that's how I met Daigon. I was I was gonna go rob her, and then Daigon was like, mm, "That's bad." Well, you were gonna rob someone else, and then I I was like, "Hey, that person I told you to rob, they're they're trying to get you into trouble. Like, don't know this is bad." Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I did pull some pranks though. Ooh, she was nice. And she gave us a place to stay while we were like prepping and stuff. But yeah, yeah, we met the Empress. That's that's cool. We did that. Cool. Did that thing. Um, yes, that's, a, that's the conversation we have while we're walking. Sure. <laughs> okay. You gonna say something? It's a, I was gonna say. Like closing uh, comment. <laughs> uh, do, 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 let me just check specifically. Uh, why? Right. So. Uh, the next week and the week after, we're still uh, on hour different. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's so the, 3 p.m. The, 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 the end of March. Back to last week of March. Well. Yeah. Yeah. For the next two weeks, it's still a 3 p.m. start for me and Soko. Yeah. So for the next two weeks, we get a seven o'clock start for the yeah. Europeans. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Eight o'clock for me. Well, 
It's eight o'clock for you. Seven o'clock for the Brits. Eight o'clock for the Dutchman. Um, yeah, and I think once, uh, I don't know, I feel like once Daylight Savings catches up to us, uh, only a few weeks. We might be done our dance lessons by then the, anyway, because we're already like, pretty much, then, like, it's only a few weeks until yeah. the wedding, so that we want to think about that anyway. Yeah, we've got, yeah, oh god, we've got maybe, what, uh, five more D&D &D sessions before the wedding? How long are you guys out there for? I'm gonna be there for, like, about nine week. days. I'm gonna be there for, like, two weeks. Uh, yeah. I was like, Koiba, I booked Duke two weeks the longest, off work. I think. I, I took some extra days, like, no, over two weeks that I took off. I was like, gotta make sure to We've got take six some jet lag, jet lag days before I get back to work, you know? <laughs> We've Good got call. six sessions, and that's assuming that we play on the 21st, which reasonably we might I don't not. Think, I don't think we I don't think so. Laura's gonna have, like, shit to deal with, and we're yeah, all like, gonna be I, packing. Dude, I got, the, I got prep shit as well, bro. Like, assume the weekend before uh, we fuck off to Canada, no session, yeah. So yeah, but, uh, we've that's got, that's uh, worries for for a month. So we'll be here. Actually, next week. that's pretty good for me. I think I'm in Hawaii then. So we got I six mean, sessions before, after today. So six sessions left until wedding. Let me never play again. We come back from Canada. We yeah. can <laughs> We've spent like a week together IRL again, and then we never want to speak to each dude, other. That week when you guys were in the Netherlands was a fucking pog week, dude. That shit was funny. But... God, us all. You're being only saying that because I got really high. Looking at Ethan playing.